and just gotta make sure my mic is unmuted. Hello, everybody. Welcome to... It's a team battle time. It's a little crew battle. Uh, no way. Very unbiased uh, on all sides. We have our representatives from both Odin's Eye Gaming and Narwhal Gaming here in the chat with me. Say hello, Burst and Rin. Follower. Hello. Oh, thank you for the follow, Narwhal Gaming. About time. <laughs> You know, I just kept forgetting. Sorry. That's fair, that's fair. Honestly, it happens too often in the FGC. So, how are you guys feeling? How you, how how you how you doing? Everyone's been grinding. Everyone's been practicing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm I'm very excited to see how uh, how each team does. I know on the OEG side, we've been kind of cooking up a little bit. Uh, we'll have to see if uh, the others can keep up. You know, uh, we're feeling pretty good. We have a. Uh, Marty dropped some good memes today. Oh, that's good. Like in the that's chat, good. yeah. For team morale, that's way more important than practice. <laughs> I mean, you know, we don't need to practice, so I'm glad that she's doing that. Damn, <laughs> so true. <laughs> good stuff. Hello, good morning. Hey, cool shirt. Yeah, nice shirt. Nice shirt. Got my name on that shirt too. It's awesome. Got my rocking oh, my jersey good. today. That is yeah, awesome. Wow. We nice are official. super excited. Uh, so as a little bit of a rundown, well, I got both of my team, my lovely team captains here, um, as a little bit of rundown of the rules as they're standing. Everything is going to be first to three, um, and the matches play out very similarly to how we did it in the last couple team battles that we put on, where you stay in, uh, as long as you're winning, you can stay in, but if you win twice in a row, then you have to rotate out. Uh, every time you lose, you lose a heart. Every player has two hearts. I have a scoreboard channel right over here that hopefully... Love that for us. There we go. I gotta find my, uh, my audio sources real quick and move those over. We do have... We lost Pariah muted. Yeah, yeah, here we go. We're going to fix it right now. <laughs> On the scoreboard. There we go. Now you can hear us on the scoreboard scene. There we go. We've got a whole bunch of really good players here today. The first round is going to be blind pick. So both of you will be uh, basically simultaneously sending in someone to play in the first round. The teams are definitely gonna speak for themselves. I think. I think we got some. We got some fun gamers, and we're gonna have some really interesting matchups here, as well. Do either of you lovely team captains have anything you'd like to say before we get on with things? Yeah. yeah. Uh, wish oh, you luck. You go. Good luck. All right. Good luck. Also, why does one of your players not know what your org is? <laughs> Wait, what? Mink was in. It's Mink was in chat today asking. Wait, so is Orange Eye Gaming like the name of the Discord, or is it a person, or like what is it? Like what's that? I, I just our uh, Mink, Mink is our special little buddy. We love him. We love him. We keep him around for funsies. You know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm real glad. Nothing compared to Narwhal professionalism. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> We just we had to we had to match the uh, we had to match the energy. Also, in true narwhal fashion, me and Jack are vowing to not talk about any of the games at all as they happen. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> no. I didn't even realize this was a commentary call. I just came in to talk with Pariah. Yeah, I was just really like me and Jack are just gonna be hanging out. We're gonna be talking, probably playing like some Titanfall yeah. two while you guys do this. So no, no, teach me how to play League. Oh yeah, totally. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've never not played like before, but I feel like I could get flat. Mink no. focus 100% on the game. Exactly. This is the worst timeline. <laughs> you guys do your little crew battle or whatever, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, fun, yeah, yeah. Have... yeah. Do, do your thing, do your thing. Uh, <laughs> I'd recommend Xin Zhao. I think you'll really like him. Yeah. Xin Zhao's basically just the Ram of League. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hate that I understood the analogy despite knowing nothing about the League character you just mentioned. <laughs> I, I can pretty much just say that about any League character, honestly. I, yeah. think, I think they're all the same. <laughs> Lux has a laser. True. Neat. Basically Ram TBH. Yeah. That is her defining characteristic as a character. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, we'll y'all feel free to hop back into your voice calls. We will be getting things started. Send, send your first picks. 
and uh, go ahead and let me know in the uh, in the thread for the team battle. Uh, do we rather DM them to you first because blind pick? Uh, do yeah, do DM for the blind pick one. That's fine. All right, sounds good. All, All right, right, good luck. All right, good luck. Eat shit and die. Goodbye. <laughs> Who That's the burst. I know. Hoorah, hoorah. I knew I knew there was something coming. There had to be there mm-hmm. had to be one little one. Oh, we'll wait for Burst to show down against Rogis, and then Burst will have some words to say, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, is there beef there? <laughs> no, Burst just hates playing against Rogis. They 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 fought last in the in the uh Street Fighter open. Rogis is a JP player. Uh and Rogis won oh. against Burst and it was uh Burst was not happy. But for well, right I'm now, sure. we're playing some six drive, I'm excited. I'm sure he'll like the May matchup so much more as a chip player. Nice. Um, that is who's getting sent in. Oh god. Uh, oh, this is beautiful. We have some versus. We have. I can go ahead and announce it since the picks are locked in. We got pixelated Max versus Burst Dragon. Burst oh. gonna be leading the charge for his own team. I appreciate that. Old chip versus sin. Yeah, zero 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 one one seven is the room code. Y'all can make your way in here. Yeah, I'm I'm really interested to see this. I haven't seen Max play in a long time. I think we played uh, back in season two, maybe a couple times. But, yeah, uh, he was always pretty strong. Um, so I'm excited to see you know what he looks like now that sin is like a real character. Quote, yeah. Quote. Max Max is a is a bottom one player for sure. And when Sin got buffed, Max was like, no, nah, this doesn't feel right. I need to play like Testament or something. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> but did stick it out, I think. At least at the very least is sticking it out until combo breaker. The first picks yeah. are up. Yes, yes, indeed. We'll hopefully have our Perfect. Yeah, we got Burst Dragon and Max. The Sin is looking really beautiful. Though I think I think some of the buffs have been really potent for Sin. Oh, for sure. And I mean Chip too. Chip is one of those characters who I think wasn't changed a whole lot, but mm. you know, with the addition of Wild Assault, it just adds a lot of depth to his kit that wasn't there previously, which is kind of scary to deal with now. Absolutely. I actually don't think I've seen a Chip in season three. I I played against Poke, who's on our team a little bit, and there, some of the Wild Assault stuff makes Chip very scary, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go, got the names fixed. Early on, yeah, I mean, Burst coming out from uh, First Dragon, though. Both players getting that Burst down. Max does not want to be stuck in that corner pressure. Oh, well, bad news for Max, then. Yeah, this is not a happy place to be through the wall. Positive walk. bonus Chip was already just insanely strong last season, and now... To be fair though, Burst is not a player who really likes doing the positive bonus stuff very much. I don't yeah. think he really sees the value of it very much and would prefer to just use his meter um, more expressive ways, which is, you know, very valid. Yeah, for sure. Burst definitely loves doing more like uh, just spending the meter to do a mix early on rather than pushing, putting you through the like risk gauge uh, building loops. Mm -hmm. There we go. The damage oh, it looks like he was maybe trying to bait there. I like the JS on the fall back there. <laughs> this is true neutral here. <laughs> Pulling some stuff oh out. Oh my from god, back. what was that mix? Yeah, the the J the jumping off the red Wallace or the red uh uh Roman cancel is something you can actually do a lot lately. Like to see it. Tied up one stock each now. Yeah, it does not look like Max is getting his burst back anytime soon. Oh well, burst is gone for both of them now. Yep. Both players just both players really wanting to play that momentum game, getting the getting the whole thing kind of started off on the right foot, you know? Nice counter on the DP. Yeah, they kind of it seems like they sort of have similar approaches to neutral almost, where they both kind of prefer to just back up and then Oh yeah, nice and that's block. that's a huge bait. Very good. Getting that positive bonus down again, but Max does have some burst meter to work with. This is pretty nice here. Oh yeah, Sin's backdash is pretty far, so you gotta you gotta have the call out on lock for that. Just a pixel left for Max. Nice a little two K two D coming in, scoring the first dub for 
the Narwhal crew. Pixelated Max is going to have to turn it on a little bit. But that, I mean, I think that they, like you said, they were both playing neutral very similarly. They have a lot of the same, and it's just a lot of that momentum-based play. And Burst is just winning a couple more interactions here and there. And Max wasn't really getting those, like, big Sin Bombos that would really swing this matchup in their favor. Yeah, we started to see an, ad an adaptation from Max later on where they were doing a lot of IED back JS to try to call out Burst's, like, overcommittal approaches. So I yep. wonder if they're going to continue trying to work on that as a way of just taking the upper hand in neutral. Now Max is rocking that OEG skin. Courtesy of Elucid, you gotta love it. Oh my god, oh, we're just dead. what happened? That was clean hit. <laughs> That's the one of the only supers that didn't get nerfed in this patch. That was I I you could ask me if that was a touch of death, I would probably say yes. I don't even it wasn't even following for the it was like, alright, yeah, round start, Max gets a little damage, but no, you're just dead. Alright. You're just gone. <laughs> Burst getting that danger uh, warning coming in there. That's something that I know Burst is particular. Uh, will hit danger almost every match that they play. And it's something mm. that, like, you know, with the amount of backdashes, I know one of the first things Burst blabbed out when the new season hit was like, hey, how many backdashes does it take for me to get negative penalty? And because I really don't want to have to lose all of my Burst meter every time I get negative penalty. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's he's definitely one of those players. He's not a very aggressive player. He's very happy to just sit full screen and wait for as long as it takes. Yep. There's a good DP, but kind of an odd angle. Look at the back that's just coming in from first. It's like, nah, I'm just going to be full screen, actually. Mm hmm. I mean, I would too. Get me away from Sin. Yep. Oh, man, even with the damage scaling, that's a clean 40% off the top. And you just get a hit by the I... meaty. You're not quite dead. Didn't have any stamina gauge to fully confirm that. Oh, you should be dead here. Yeah. Nicely done. Slated so Max. Nice I ended up 1 1. I, I think it's really interesting. I, it's interesting seeing a lot of the Sin stuff recently because a lot of new people are picking up Sin, and you can kind of tell who the old heads of Sin are. Because they like, mm. you know, the new the newer Sin players just like don't respect the same stuff that the older Sin players do, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like he was also a character who had pretty complicated combo routes, just in terms of like what you need for like any given situation. You had to know yeah. a lot of like improvisations and be ready to do them. So there's a, there's a lot of depth to his combo theory that doesn't like necessarily show up on the surface, but I think people who've been playing Sin for a long time, you see that reflected in the way they're able to convert. Yeah, for sure. But definitely no stranger to having character-specific combos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and back in the corner, this is where Max just has been thing. making their money all set. Yeah, I think that's one of the big things about the new Sin 2, is that that's really the situation that they're in, where they're just a corner pressure monster now, more akin to, like, a Ram or a Testament than, like, a, a really neutral focus character. Yeah. But I think you can tell the Burst has kind of woken up a little bit, because he, oh, yeah. when he's feeling himself, he really likes to do these TK, or the, not TK, but he really likes to start doing the Alpha Blades and the Command Throws and really just start... Mm -hmm piling on the RPS on the opponent. Yeah, starting to get that mental stack really high. I mean, Burst has always been, like, the, the finds the one thing that you hate the most about the matchup and just does that over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. No, he's he's the king of just, like, you know, he'll lose two games, then he'll figure something out, and then he'll 3 you. <laughs> yep. It's like, oh, you never blocked J2K? I'm just going to hit nothing but J2K for the rest of the game. <laughs> I hate J2K. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> It's a that move. Oh, this could be a good chunk of damage coming in. Oh, does find the pickup, and I think with a super conversion. Very nicely done, Max. is going to be taking another stock here. This is so close. So evenly matched between these two, actually. Yeah, this is a great way to start. That is huge. Not going to get very much, but still a nice start. Here we go. Come oh, here. yeah, that's what I was talking about. Until you show that you can deal with that consistently, he's just going to keep doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, what a call out on the DP. An interesting variation of a safe jump. It was a jump that is safe, so... <laughs> Are you... You should be dead here, I think. No, didn't quite finish the combo. 
Goes got to hold it for one more interaction. Oh, I tried to throw out the deflect shield, but it was not what you wanted there. Yeah. Deflect shield, kind of hard to use, I think, is, is the general consensus yeah. so far. Strong when it works, but it's very hard to find the situations where it actually works correctly. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I mean, I think that, like, the... Uh... The, one, the situations just need to be labbed out a lot more than they kind of have been. I think a lot of people are just like, ah, fuck the flex shield, like, I'm not gonna lab that shit. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. another one is like, <laughs> yeah, another one is like, when you're playing against these advancing characters, like, Chip is a great example of this. There's so, like, if you deflect Chip's Rekka, you're just gonna get, you're gonna get hit, right? Because he's yeah. just gonna hit the set, he's gonna hit the Rekka follow-up as his muscle memory, and you're just gonna be getting hit there anyway. Yeah, it's weird some of the stuff that it just doesn't really do anything about. Mm -hmm. Ramrek is the same way. Yeah, uh, you if Bridget does a wall break safe jump with JS, uh, and you deflect shield the first hit of JS, the second hit of JS hits you. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. It's actually so fucking Why funny. Why is it like that? <laughs> it's like the situation that you would imagine you would want to use deflect shield in the most. <laughs> but no. Here we go. Nice trading coming back here. This is the kind of momentum burst wants. You almost. You. Yo. Not quite dead. You have one more chance for Max. I think it's time for a shuriken. Oh, found the counter hit, but the burst comes out. J2K. This is terrifying. The shuriken. Oh, he heard me. <laughs> But uh, yeah, don't don't use the shuriken burst. That was <laughs> don't don't actually do it. <laughs> don't actually use the shuriken. But hey, we out here. I like I like the idea. <laughs> perfect use case for the shuriken, and also a perfect example for why burst hates it regardless. <laughs> so we got one of the shurikens out for sure. I like it. Fire C coming in on the two H. Corner swap. Nice jump on the command grab, but no punish. Low. Yeah, that's one of those moves that just, it's really hard to punish, even if you're, like, prepared for it. Look at this. Burst is oh. just loving playing that RPS around the Rekka here. Is completely willing to just take the resets. Oh, there's the 5 Ps. That's when you know Burst is actually gaming. Those 5 Ps haven't come out yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, the overhead. Hard to deal with. Nice routing as well. That, with a red RC. That How damage. You... Yeah, you oh dealt so much damage off of a red RC combo. I thought, you know, I thought we nerfed damage this patch. Oh my god. What a DP. All right. No RC. Barely though. bursting in time. Once again, just a pixel of HP left for both players. YRC coming out from burst. No resources to speak of. The JS seals the deal. Mm hmm. I think Max might be starting to catch on to the fact that burst is not DP. Yeah. Uh, he does not feel comfortable trusting in it, and so he prefers to just not use it at all. Um, and, you know, against someone like Sin, who has pressure that's very gap-heavy and very based on stagger, that just means he can kind of just do whatever he wants. Yep, absolutely. I mean, and, yeah. Max in general is a lot more of a, a, a not deep gear as well, except for very specific situations. Like, Max has to be 100% positive that they can call out your, like, something in your pressure string or something like that. Um, but, like, for instance, I, like, I was playing Max the other day with uh, Johnny, and Max just didn't DP the entire set. You know, I was like, there's so many DPable gaps, but because Max didn't know those gaps and wasn't 100% sure on them, the DP was just a non-existent part of their toolkit. Yeah, which is honestly, like, very respectable for a Sin player, because that's kind of the stereotype. Uh, <laughs> Sin players know they have a good DP, and they'll just use it whenever they want. Yeah, especially now, having one of the best DPs in the game, but also not the not the slack on burst here. Just a really clean pressure, yeah. lots of small resets in the corner. Yeah, just classic burst style, just chipping you away very slowly over time until you just crack. Nice. JP calling out that JS potential backdash. <laughs> oh, oh sneaky tick throw, but Burst is ready for it. Yeah, very, very good. Little fuzzy match there. Again, but I think you might be dead this time. Fortunate. Really good call out defensively from Burst. We're going to a game five last stock for, for our very first match today. Ooh. All right, back in the corner. No wall break, but yeah, wow. 
He's DP'd that a couple times now. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, and Burst really loves this YRC. You sending it on the Rekka mixes? That's a big counter. Yep, definitely want to be bursting out there. Nice 6P from Burst. Catching Max going a little bit aggressive. I swear these two guys spend basically no time in the center of the stage. Yeah. Every time I look, one of them is just in the corner, and then like five seconds later, they're in the other corner, <laughs> the other guy's running pressure. Exactly. Nice Ooh. block from Burst. Ooh, the deflect oh. shield. <laughs> yeah, hard, hard to punish that in the moment. Oh, no meter to confirm here. Red RC to keep the mix going. There's a command grab in the corner. Both these players, also neither of them have had any meter to speak of. You have to eat this mix. The TP oh, comes out. Oh, that's not a safe jump. Oh, what a shimmy with the new backdash from Max calling out the throw. Last, last hit. Last hit. Last zero resources. Going to pop us over to the scoreboard. That is Burst Dragon is going to be the first one to fall. At if every is... game is going to go like that, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> we shall see. Very nicely done. A good showing from both players. We got some Pixelated Max fans in the chat for sure. Very nice. I done. still believe in Narwhal. Someone has to. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We got, we got so much belief for the Narwhal. We're going to be sending in a new player here. Narwhal gets an opportunity. The way that the bracket is set up now, uh, Max is forced to stay in. Narwhal gets an opportunity to get a little counter pick action. Maybe they know uh, they, they know they have somebody on the team who is confident they can take Max out. Or if they want to, uh, if they're particularly afraid of Max, they could send in a player to just kind of take the L and force Max to have to rotate out. <laughs> Yeah, it's a hard call, because I, I don't know if uh, at this point we have a good sense of, like, who does well in Descent anymore. Because I would have said, like, you know, Bridget does fine in Descent. I imagine Axel maybe probably did pretty okay in Descent, but now I just have no idea. Like, he, he might win, he might lose, it's, it's completely up in the air. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely an interesting one. I think, I mean, you always have, I think Burrito is such a value for the team being a pretty good Johnny player. And also even potentially, you know, having some of the fallbacks like the Biken. Um, but you can just kind of bank on people not understanding the intricacies of the high level Johnny matchup and send Burrito in to, to kind of test the waters on that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like if anyone's going to be able to figure that out in the moment, it's going to be Burrito. Oh, yeah. And here we go. Here's the Johnny coming out. Oh, Breakfast yeah. Burrito. I'm normally a Johnny hater, but for today, I'm going to set it aside. <laughs> and uh, my boy. We love Let's Johnny go Burrito. Here. Johnny is a 40-year-old man wearing a fedora, a trench coat, and a katana. <laughs> I am not rooting for that guy. <laughs> He's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like the finer cancels coming out already. Ooh, actually whiffs on the card there a little bit. It was not quite close enough to the wall. This will be really one of the big deciding factors, though, is how Burrito handles the sin pressure in the corner. Yeah, Johnny, not a character with very many defensive options outside of Reversal Super. So he kind of just has to hold what Sin is going to do. <laughs> the mix lands. Gets the counter hit. Nice back dash from Burrito on the close slash, but Max is cooking something up right now. Oh my god, wake up far slash. Or. I think that was far slash. Look at this pressure coming in. Yeah, I like Max staying a little patient here. Oh, oh never mind. Good that is unfortunate. Through. Oh, I like that back dash into potential save jump there. Definitely interesting. Not getting quite a conversion off of the Red RC mix there. The, oh, the L-Cut is so fast. Very nice. I like how... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, Burrito keep, keeping the uh, dash in safe there. Very yeah, I like how, how safe Burrito's just been about everything. He's really just kind of not testing the waters at all. But, yeah, L-Cut or uh, O-Stomp is rough to react to. 
Yeah, that was a hard-fought battle for Burrito, though. Lots of really cool tech there. The 2K2D and the Mistfinder cancel. I like seeing kind of the fake-outs from the, from the Johnny play. Yeah, lots of these Mistfinder cancels come out. Unfortunately, you know, the, in the Johnny versus Sin matchup, some of the just most belligerent options just work against the real and the fake option, right? So it can definitely be a, a challenge. Good pressure coming in, though, from Burrito. Max is playing nice and patient. Big yeah, counter just hit. Has had his foot on the gas pedal this entire time, and, like, Burrito is playing well around it, but he's never felt like he's been the one in the driver's seat. Yep. Oh, here we go, though. A little Johnny B&B &B going into that safe jump as well. Nice block. Big counter hit. Now we're set up in the corner. This is the situation. The TK Misfighter coming in with the red RC. And Burrito is going to be taking that one. I'll just immediately coming out of the corner, swinging on that. I squinted and I saw you, Zonson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You still fly. Oh, my God. <laughs> you have those? We got those. That's a lot of damage coming down from Burrito. Burrito waking up a little bit. Put some respect on the Max name. Oh, that's a big counter hit for Max, though. Oh, I think maybe he might have dropped a little bit on that one, but. Oh, and this probably isn't death, but this is a really good situation for Burrito here. Yep. You're really liking this. The card is still down as well. Unfortunately, the second hit of the card didn't quite land for the guard crush. Ah, Ooh. catches him flinching, though. Yeah, the vault actually beating out the uh, elk hunt there. Very interesting stuff. Burrito taking the first round. I mean, the very first stock of that round looked really decisive for Max, and then Burrito just, like, dialed in and started tearing it up. Yeah, I mean, he's always been a player who has really strong fundamentals, but also, I think when Johnny came out, he labbed him for, like, 12 hours straight or something like oh, yeah. that yeah. <laughs> and has just been grinding incredibly hard he he loves johnny so he's really just been putting in as much work as he can to get this character to work as best as he can for sure and yeah aggressive start with the 6k up and getting a full conversion potentially burning that burst nice and early trying to back that but it does get caught by the hoof stomp Oh, great backdash. Yeah, Burrito's starting to get on top of with his backdash. Oh, unfortunately, I think that should have been a close slash. Oh, oh and that's the YRC. You're safe YRC's there. YRC's safe. Very nicely done. And you just keep seeing, it, you know, it's a very small thing about the general Johnny game plan. You see all of these Mistfinder cancels, and you're just building a tiny bit of meter on there. You don't really get any frame advantages or anything off of it. It's just a cool thing, and it builds a little bit of meter every time you do it. And it's uh, <laughs> it's such a funny option. My my hot take is that, like, as long as you're playing against a Johnny and they're doing those Mistfinder cancels, you're fucked. Like, mm -hmm. you're... They're vibing so hard, and they do not think that you're a threat enough for them to do real stuff. <laughs> yeah. Does it really not change frame advantage at all? There's, I think there's like one or two situations where you get a little bit of frame advantage off of it, but there's very few. Mostly just something to do with your hands, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a great DP. Yeah, you were right. Max doesn't DP often, but when he DPs, he's he tends to be right. Yeah, and Zenga only minus four, so not able to get a punish off of it. Yeah, this is a tough situation to be in. Having to spend a lot of meter on the tax here. But Burrito could get one interaction, and it will be enough. Really just found the perfect opportunity there. <laughs> that 6k jump scare. Burrito's going up 2-0. Looking solid, but Max is putting up a hell of a fight right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I fought Burrito's Johnny uh, recently, and... It was rough, but that 6k is probably the roughest part about dealing with him. He just will mm -hmm. stand there for like 10 seconds watching you, and then you just get 6k and explode out of nowhere. Kelso says this is the hardest event to root for. I understand. Listen, these are all the homies. I want all of them to do well and have a good time. That's really... every Everyone should be winning at the end of today. I'm rooting for Narwhal, just... Uh, the GTM, record. there is no bracket for today. That's our normal weekly bracket, but this is the lineup currently for the uh, crew battle. 
Breakfast Burrito is on the way to potentially taking out uh, Pixelated Max for us. We'll be seeing how things kind of evolve from there. Oh, everything's okay. Little stride moment. It happens. Looks like they're getting back on. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Trying to keep things running nice and smoothly. The Johnny is staying in and the Sin is staying in as well. We're going to be seeing. I mean, Max hopefully can find some answers. And that's kind of the thing, right? Like the knowledge check that the Johnny kind of provides, especially when you're seeing some of this Johnny tech we might have never seen before. It's, it's a scary situation to be in. Yeah, there's like, you know, you might have fought a lot of Johnnies in tower and feel pretty comfortable about that, mm -hmm. but Burrito is not a tower Johnny. Exactly. He actually knows his shit, he's labbed out a ton of tech, and so like, do you know the matchup? <laughs> right. It's kind of hard to say against him. Yeah. I don't think there's many people who get practice with a Johnny at this level. Yeah, so. for sure. Or at least right now. And I mean, like we saw it earlier, right? With the uh, using the vault deal and staying safe on it. Like that's such a very specific thing. And uh, you gotta be a pretty good level Johnny to be pulling that off consistently. And getting a counter hit close slash on that, like getting the shimmy from it is such a huge payout. And like as much as Sin has gotten buffed recently, he's still, he's still Sin. So like yeah. there is the experience still there that carries over from dealing with him. So there's definitely a knowledge gap here. Yeah, absolutely. What a oh, back great backdash. Go another one that's Is safe he plus there. Off uh, so he's not plus, but he's shimmied to where he's uh, safe. Uh, I gotcha. And I think that he's basically like minus zero. Or he might be like mm -hmm. minus one or minus two off of it, but you can't throw it. And like we saw earlier, the YRC gets blocked even so. Big counter hit for Max, using the Wild Assault to keep things moving. Lots of stamina meters spent here, though. Oh, and this is, uh, not gonna, oh, oh, misses the opportunity there. Careful here. Oh, when yeah. When you're so... in the corner, it is real. That that might be something that, uh, I'll actually have to ask Burrito about that later. Pixley and Max taking them around there, though. But uh, from my labbing, from what I understand, is when you're in the corner, the vault deal is always throwable. Ah, oh, gotcha. There's like a, there's a teensy tiny window that's like frame perfect spot to deal um, that you can like jump to throw up to bait their throw. But it is, you have to deal so close to the ground. I, I can do it like one in 20 times currently. <laughs> Yeah, not nah, even even Burrito's probably not gonna have that on lock at this point. Mm -hmm. Max gaming indeed. Yeah, Max really showing a lot of resilience, considering how rough the set started off for him, and now he looks so much more confident. Yep. Got the got the homies in the chat. Hopefully pulling up the pulling up the Johnny Dust Loop. Be like, hey, this is where you DP. You got this. <laughs> Here we go. Trying to keep that pressure going. No, oh, no, Luke. <laughs> no, you can't be saying that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, moderators. <laughs> oh, trying to get the reverse, but Max is safe. There we go. Oh, oh and you are dead. dead. Max, Max <laughs> looking really strong right now. Yeah, Max could potentially looking to put on a reverse sweep. You know, in this format, he <laughs> typoed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in this format, it's so, so valuable to have one of your players go the full gamut and get the two kills. It's such a momentum swing in your favor, but look at this pressure coming in. The TK coming out. Oh, uh, yo, Zan Sen, huh? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no super, but I mean, it's hard to imagine Brito losing from this position. Yeah, I Although, mean, if it was ever going to happen. This super through the wall is a lot of damage, but Burrito with full burst and 100 meter. Oh, a little piercing. Pull. Yeah, I might as well just spend it. Oh, I think that oh was... Oh, my God. Yeah, try to get the not, TK though. Mistfinder again. The burst is coming out, and now Max is suddenly in the perfect position. You just have to get one hit, but you're dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell? Right, Max come back. With the comeback kid. 
Got about a literal pixel left. He had no meter, no burst, yep. pixel of health versus yep. a guy with full burst, full meter, positive bonus, and a hundred life. Oh, a big tragedy. You need a better oh. imagination. <laughs> So true. Hey, I don't need an imagination, all right? Max is making it happen in real time right on my screen. Exactly. Jack did not lab the commentator's curse. <laughs> it's more exciting this way. Yeah, exactly. Getting into another game five. We love to see it. I think, and the other thing that's really tragic is the uh, Burrito tried to do the RC into the TK uh, Misfiner and got just a jumping slash instead, and that literally would have won the game. Mm -hmm. Go. Trying to play a spacing game. Max being very patient right now. Yeah, this corner pressure is nasty to deal with. But, but not going to let him vault in there. Very good stuff. Guard crush. Cash of the back dash. Yeah, I think he's picked up the burrito. Really likes to back dash out of that situation now and is trying to cover it. Ooh, I like the PRC forward, using the Mistfinder dash as well to keep the pressure up, but Max is playing so patient right now. Yeah, that FD really helped him out in getting out of the pressure situation. Some back dash. Yeah, you can see how often he's just preemptively throwing out 6P, because, like, what else is Johnny really going to threaten you with that, you know, beats 6P besides, like, maybe 2S? Yeah, it's actually really interesting. Sin 6P, because it's so long horizontally... It actually is such a good anti-Johnny tool because normally if someone's just spamming 6P, you can just do like an advancing misfinder that's the low crush one. But mm -hmm. with Sin, you actually get counter hit in that situation just because you can't quite reach and his 6P reaches so far. Yeah, like there. Yeah. That's... So it's actually a really, really interesting uh, aspect of the matchup that I was learning a little bit about last night, getting smoked by <laughs> Max over and over <laughs> again. There we go. There's the TK Finder, though. That never lets us down. No. Definitely oh, not. And now, chance to bring this back. But, I mean, Max has shown they keep a cool head under pressure. Trying to get the anti-air close slash. Max didn't put a, hit a button on the way down. Nice tech on the throw. Burrito's trying to call some of these jump outs as well with the air miss miners. Oh, this is a scary situation. You don't have oh, burst because burst of the wild assault. You're not dead, though. Surely no. <laughs> but this is bad. Yeah, this is a really rough situation to be in. You do have burst available. Big hit there. Half it meter should be well. enough. Oh, it doesn't even need it. All oh, the confidence in that combo. <laughs> Last round yet again. Full burst for both of them. This is about as competitive as you can make it. Yeah, exactly. Great start from Max, though. Yeah, already so much meter. Throwing in that mix a little bit, the tick throw off of it as well. Adding some new layers. Ooh, look at that. Using the dash under the DP, another counter hit. Oh, I just could have sworn I saw a burst start up there, but unfortunately for Burrito, no free burst today. But this is a really good look. You got Red RC and you're oh, done. That, you know, I feel like that was even up until like 10 seconds ago, and then it just completely ended. When... That was actually incredible because burst or because burrito hit the uh, wild assault through the wall. Max didn't have the burst available to stop the reset from happening. Mm -hmm. Very, very yeah. good stuff. And burrito just really putting on a masterclass of how Johnny can kind of just run away with the game when he gets the upper hand. Yeah, very good stuff. Max is going to be going down, having a look at our scoreboard here. So currently, as far as the rule set goes, Max and Burst Dragon are both going to be unavailable for picking until uh, everyone gets a chance uh, to throw some hands. So once Very the inclusive. entire team has the opportunity to play, then it kind of resets into the second round of everyone gets a, a kind of fresh pick. So currently we're choosing between Rinchy, Mink, Rin, and Rogis trying to counteract the breakfast burrito. I've heard... I've heard Johnny does not like Nago, and mm. I know Burrito personally really hates Kai. Oh, so yeah. if I were OEG, I'd, I'd probably be going with either Rin or Mink, depending on how we feel. But yep. 
we'll, I mean, we'll see where they land on that. I, I definitely wouldn't send in Biken. Uh, Brito, long time Biken player, knows the character very well. So, um, I mean, but if you feel confident, like. Perfect. It looks like we're going to be sending in It's Mink. So Mario, you can absolutely hop into space. Yeah. For sure. At our score here. We got It's Mink coming in. Going to be with rocking the, aura. the new Naga with the aura as well. Yeah. It's Mink is a gamer for sure. <laughs> Mink saw its rating update came back and was like, hell yeah. <laughs> Mink is a sleeper for real. It's a. Uh... Oh, the room code is 000117. Uh, yeah, Mink, Mink is a sleeper for sure, because, you know, kind of, kind of vibes around, like, the last time we played a crew battle, we were actually against Mink, and, uh, Mink ended up being one that, like, the rating update was very inaccurate versus the actual performance, so, <laughs> ah. oh, here's a blood pop, though. Yeah, not a great start. Oh, do we have the TODs for the blood pop? Oh, not quite. That was fine, the nah, but... Man, I just to cinch it anyways. Very nicely done. Yeah, I imagine that 6k is going to be pretty good. The round start DP, another DP as well. This is a lot, but Burrito knows to be backdashing. <laughs> That's just the, the epitome of the Nago matchup now. It's just you backdash or you die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nago pressure has always been some of the scariest pressure in the game, and now it's also just mixes you automatically. So, oh, no. Ooh, popping again. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, the downside of the, uh... Ooh, just a pixel left. Nice, Miss Finer in the air. Burrito gonna be taking the first round. Yeah. I mean, one of the, the downsides like... of the new Nago stuff is that it has, I think, effect, like, it has had such effect on the psychology of Nago players that I have watched so many top-tier Nago players just pop for basically no reason. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was, I mean, I think Burrito played that really well, but a lot of that was just Mink dying to their blood management, which, you know, it's so strong when it works out, so it's understandable that you're trying to enforce that strategy, but yeah, I mean, you Burrito wanna... is aware of that and is trying yeah. to play around it as much as possible. You want to be able to play that mix game, you want to just, like, do the Nago one-shot gaming thing. You also got to be real careful because that Johnny Far Slash is nine frames, and I think that that means that it's safe from the Nago DP round start. I'm not actually certain on that. I, I know, know there's some of the more intricate round starts that it is safe against. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I know it's safe to like on, or it's supposed to be safe to on this bin. Hmm. A huge conversion though, and yeah. just gonna cash out for the super. I'm not sure if this wall breaks though. I think this might just plop you down in the corner. Yeah, we're not going to be wall breaking. Yeah. We're landing back down. A little Oki situation. Getting a lot of blood back. There's the bite. Yeah, and important too, because I think he may have been about to pop after spending the clone. Yeah, I think so. That Even after getting the blood back from the super, which is wild. Oh, nice 2k. Nice mash out from Burrito. Backdashing again on the bite. It's Mink is just so hungry, but is not allowed to eat today. I like using the super just for the corner carry there. Because yeah. now Mink has to fight his way out of the corner with high blood. Oh, well, is it a little shimmy? I... Yeah, it doesn't work, though. Oh, unfortunately, not quite get a full punish. punish. That's a huge But this should though. be death? No. Oh, I love the white wild assault out of the corner, calling out the fakeness of the card. The TK Finder does not quite go off. Oh, yeah, you can't afford another one of those trades. Burrito's just threatening it with the dash ins. <laughs> it's Miss Finder time. You gotta FD all of these as well. Oh, you find something. Red RC, you might be able to find the kill here. You're well, alive. Not quite. White Wild Assault is corny and the clone. It's me. Spending it all on the clone, too. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a, what a last round. What another comeback coming out. Mm -hmm. I think we're definitely learning. Mink really likes to use his blood. Oh, yeah. And, you know, Mink's like, all right, you know, you've been backdashing my bites. You've been, you know, counterplaying blood correctly. I'm still going to do it. And you still have to show that you're capable of, like, dealing with this throughout the entire set. Yeah, absolutely.
Kelso yeah, cornball moment. Once you corny to me, you're on the cob forever, dog. Oh no. Damn. <laughs> it's so over. You lost Aria? It's done for. <laughs> uh throwing out that clone again. Trying to see what works. The fireball wars can be sometimes effective against Johnny, but oh man. That's a little classic. Johnny players love those meaty hits, especially, I mean, you're playing against a character that doesn't have a DP. That's just like Johnny's dream, you know? I feel like I've played against so many DP characters that are just making my life miserable, but when they don't have a DP, I can just turn my brain off and do Johnny pressure all day. But you know what he does have? A he does have a reversal super oh, and a hundred meter. <laughs> Yeah, we've been seeing Burrito get a lot of counter hits so far, especially off of Incenga. It seems like he's kind of figured out where Mink likes to mash and pressure, and has just been really targeting that pretty heavily. Another big counter hit coming in. No huge conversions, but resetting into Oki is what the Johnny loves to see. The BRC actually making it so the card missed and gave Mink a chance to mash out of the corner. Oh, the whip into the punish. That That's is, I be think, a clean the conversion. Johnny play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Johnny is a whip punish monster. The uh, the there's something that I do that that's not actually a cool guy thing to do. But it feels like what Johnny wants to do with all the card throwing setup nonsense is when I'm mashing the card toss super, the Joker trick super too hard, sometimes I'll get the S card toss. So Johnny will like throw a card up into the air and then super. <laughs> and it's so funny and it catches people so often. Oh, oh wait, we're seeing a character switch. I like it. A little swamp or Rooney over to the soul bad guy. And I think this makes sense. Even if Nago, I don't know if Nago does well against Johnny or not, but it seemed like Burrito was really clued into the way that Mink was trying to play it. So yeah. the switch makes sense here. Although Burrito taking an early lead here. Yeah, already got thrown the burst here, but we're in the corner. Nice mash using that far slash. I mean, listen, giving Burrito a nine frame far slash is just as fucked up. <laughs> I hated dealing with Bike and Far Slash last season. I hate dealing with Johnny Far Slash this season. <laughs> yep. It's just the constant. Oh, that is not. Yeah, that is not going to catch anything, unfortunately. Yeah, that might have been an attempt at a um, wild throw, but DP does come out. Mink had to make something happen here. That's a jump scare, dude. <laughs> Yeah, Mink is really trying to force RPS against Burrito a lot, and Burrito is a player who kind of thrives on that, so it's, yep. it's not working out too well for Mink right now. Playing into Burrito's hands a little bit. Oh, didn't quite get the setup for the safe jump. Trying to get the manually timed safe jump on that one. Oh, I love the fast cancels as well, trying to catch a mash button option. What a burst bait as well. Yeah, full, full anti-air conversion too. Yep, anti-air conversion using the card on the ground on the second hit. STP moment, so true. <laughs> yeah, a lot of footsies here, but I mean, oh, no. you gotta make something happen. Yep, Bur Burrito's hitting that S button. We got danger penalty coming in from Meek, which seems wild. Not quite a full confirm to death. There's the super. Throwing a card again. Nice 2K from oh, yeah. Burrito. Delayed the gun flame there, so Burrito had enough time to put out a 2k and just kill him for it. <laughs> Corn ball ball detected. Detected, indeed. It's Mink is going to be going down on the first round, and that is Burrito being the first person who is uh, going down from, uh, or pardon me, having to step down for winning two in a row. Very Let's nice go, Burrito. Done. That means, uh, da, 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 I believe if I remember correctly, the winner has to announce and the losers get to counter pick. Let me see. Uh, da, da, da. Winning team must announce who are they sending in their character first. Yes. At Burrito or at uh, Burst Dragon, winning team must announce replacement. Losers get counter pick. Smiley face. Send him a smiley face with it. <laughs> we, we got some memes being We're generated. Oh, here. I, think, I think we... Uh, 
All right. Sky Metro. Bridges. Oh, we got Sky Metro? Coming oh, in. yeah. Hell yeah. I love watching her Bridget. Second pick. Hell yeah. Fucking banana bread at work, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. I need to look at this meme channel because I am not following any of what you're saying right now. <laughs> I I know that's just something. Every time someone says hell yeah, there's this uh big long rant that is really popular on like Vine, I think originally, but then got on TikTok eventually. But it's this dude who's like, man, there's just some days in life, dude, where life just fucking sucks, dude. But some things, dude. Today, dude, I got fucking banana bread at work, dude. Hell yeah. Just goes to show, Hell man, yeah. like, if you work hard, good things will come, dude. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff in life that's <laughs> really not that cool, dude. Like, fucking working, dude. Fucking bu bugs, dude. Hell no. <laughs> banana you really bread had bread all bread. of that on lock. That's crazy. <laughs> I used to have the whole thing memorized. I fucked that's it up insane. pretty bad. insane. But fucking banana bread at work, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> I I, I, I strive to be more like the banana bread at work, dude, every day. <laughs> it's it's a lofty goal. <laughs> the banana bread mindset, exactly, hot dog. All right, looks like we've got Rinchy coming in. Bike and Bridget. I there's been a lot of discourse about this matchup that I may or may not have been directly involved in. I <laughs> Bridget players. Fucking hate this matchup. Viking players fucking hate this matchup. No one is having fun. So, uh, you <laughs> I, know, best you of know, luck. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, yes, Grinty also rocking the OEG skin. You love to see it. Oh, I'm on the wrong scene. Pop me back over the turn of the scene real quick. Pardon me. <laughs> and Sky Metro starting off with a lot of early Bridget pressure. And yeah, opening up with the low. Nice. Trying to play there. against Perry there a little bit, but, uh,. Yeah, the backdash is going to be really well timed. I think this is a good matchup for sure. And I mean, you know, both of these like characters too, they have the plight of being the uh, blue uh, wild assault characters that all of the blue wild assault characters are dooming nowadays. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're just they they're the red, we got red wild assault at home is a joke I made yesterday. Nice conversion, <laughs> you actually find a kill there. Oh my god. That's actually crazy. I did not. I was expecting a reset like way earlier than that. I, I I thought she'd live with like a pixel of health, but no. Yeah, that that is kind of the issue here. Is Bridget plays really good neutral against Biken, but if Biken gets in once, Bridget just dies. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I know That's... I know Rinchi has been doing a lot of grinding. You know, kind of the initial patch dooming was hitting pretty hard, but I think Rinchi's done a really good job of kind of coming out of that. And, Finding finding some of the uh, confirmed and actually just doing the work to readjust the combos instead of just complaining about it. Nice parry. Oh yeah. And Perry's huge in this matchup because Bridget is a character who's basically in her entire game plan revolves around looping safe jumps and Biken just gets to say, I don't care. Yep. You you want to do a safe jump? You're gonna have to RPS with me. And as a character who gets her reward off of that uh, that mix situation, that is definitely a rough point for Bridget. So we'll see how Mari is able to adapt, because now that Rinchi is starting to represent Perry more, uh, Skymetra is going to have to change up her pressure a lot if she doesn't want to just die to it. Oh, yeah. And I mean, and that's something that, uh, you know, I, I've said it before, and I will say it again. Rinchi, she is a player that will always hit the funny button. She is a mm -hmm. funny button enjoyer. You Leo command grab, Anji spin, whatever it is that she's playing that day. <laughs> the bike and berry is chief among them, I think. I, I love the fact that the Strive community refers to like buttons that are frame one reversals that do 130 damage as funny buttons. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's a free dopamine button. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah. It's like when you get your funny bone hit. You know, it's like it's not actually funny, but we have to call it the funny button, or we're we're all gonna be crying constantly. <laughs> okay, you know what? That makes a lot of sense to me. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing quick perfect from Rinchi, but uh, Sky Metro doing a good job playing neutral, but uh, yeah, really good yeah, block on the blender this cross up, but yeah, does get hit up and <laughs> get their ass. <laughs> Swim Doggo says a hundred damage. Oh yes, very sorry, very sorry. I have to be unbiased. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Good pressure coming in from Mari. Really finding a turnaround. Are we safe here? No, you are not safe, oh. unfortunately. 
Thankfully, that that uh, that super was nerfed, so Bridget is not just dead like she would have been last season. But very true. Very scary position. Oh, yeah. Yes, unfortunately. A little bit of aerial dominance coming in from the bike and Rinchy going up 2-0 so far. Yeah, we're kind of seeing this play out because it's, it's like every every round, Mari does such a good job of like playing neutral and controlling, and then Rinchy will get one opening and just kill her. Yeah. For the rest of the round. Um, and it's it's hard. It's very hard to get out of bike and pressure as Bridget. It takes a lot of practice and knowledge to not just RPS really poorly and die on the spot. So right. the the temptation of just sending the the YOLO DP. <laughs> it's very high. Yeah. As someone who lost a lot of bracket sets to that exact thing, it's very high. <laughs> yeah. Nice round start. All right, into the tick throw. A nice reset. Going for the same side high with the Kabari. Oh, I love that mix. And a burst bait as well. No punish, unfortunately. Yeah. Still going to get a good, you know, getting out of pressure, getting a good neutral position, so not too bad. Yep. Going in for pro on the DP. I can't believe you ran that far and still got a DP punish throw. That's crazy. Mike and also, like, one of the slowest characters in the game, too. <laughs> yeah. The cross-up, nice blocks for Mari here. DK is on some landing, no conversion, though. Okay, here we go. This is the opportunity. This is the thing. This is the thing you see right before Bridget wins the match every time. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's, it's also what you see when Bridget loses the match, I'm just saying. <laughs> but I believe in Mari. <laughs> and Mari is definitely an adaptable kind of player, too. I mean, I played... Mm -hmm. Ooh, no! The gun goes through! Yeah, Viking just wins there. It really sucks. Oh, but yeah, that's... Nice, calling out the parry, but of course they did get a punish, finds a red RC, and the kill nicely done. Yeah, I mean, good pickup. I played against Mari in our League About Nothing match and went up 4-0, and then Mari reverse swept me in a first to five. I was... <laughs> it, Mari is a player that can definitely tighten up the, those uh, adjustments. There's a good DP. Yeah. No, she's put a lot of work into Strive, and it really shows through her play. Mm-hmm. Nice to return. Yo-Yo does land. None of these players really going for much on the way of, uh, oh, the two SS get parried out. Uh, no conversion, though. I didn't quite get the side swap conversion. That would have been very scary. Excuse me? Man, buff Bridget, man. <laughs> we go to Davis Johnson. Yeah. Or he has to make something happen to potentially start the reverse sweep. I love seeing the OEGO on the tatami mat. It's so funny. <laughs> That's your guys. That's my guys. There's the you should be safe here. Safe. Yeah. And no meter to make it happen. Let's make sure we find the conversion. Good stuff from Mari. Oh, nice comeback. Yeah, you can see she was doing a lot of Oki that's not like typical Bridget Oki, but a lot of just like cutting it off early and just waiting. And that's just what you have to do against Biken because Perry answers so much stuff so cleanly. Yeah. I mean, the bike and parry against the mixed character, Eno is very similar, you know, but Eno has the has the benefit of getting absolutely juiced this patch instead of, you know, mm -hmm. instead of she like... She got the good wild assault. <laughs> yeah, you know. Why Thank did she get the good wild assault, by the way? Uh, what, you know, what happened there? She, she needs it. She needs it. Yeah. I mean, Bridget's got the yo-yo set up. It's cool. That's fucked up. Hey, that's alright, that's alright. It happens in the FGC. You just click on the tournament links instead, and that, that gives me uh, metrics or something. I don't know. <laughs> nice 2K, 2K. Good patience coming in. Okay, and there's the bait we were talking about. And I mean, you know, one of the things, as far as like being a player who can learn off the fly, one of the things that is really beneficial is you have Breakfast Burrito in your corner and Burst Dragon in your corner. One of who plays Biken and the other one hates Biken. So you're gonna be able to get a lot of like, you can pop into the chat and get a lot of information from uh, like, oh, hey, I should be mashing here instead of here and I just win. Yeah. Oh, and that's that's good RPS from Mari there, throwing the, uh, throwing 236S into 214S as a way to just call out any attempt at mashing there. Oh. 
Good pressure. Low, low, oh, low, low yeah. pressure. Whoa, I got hit. Yeah, she was going for the fuzzy there. Ah, oh, great job with the burst okay. bait. Burst bait. And yeah, this is the other side of the coin of what this matchup looks like. <laughs> This is, this is the Mari adaptations, for real. I love that run-up throw, somehow pe getting the DP. That's crazy. Red RC, you gotta hold this mix. Oh! I think safe. this might be safe. That's crazy! Yeah. And a clean punish again. Sky Metro, working on this reverse sweep right now. I have never seen Bridget 2K safe jab before. That's crazy. That is wild. I and Viking has a... <laughs> Viking has a 9-frame super, too. It's not like a slow super or anything. That's the GOAT, indeed. I have, but that's just because I am a Testament yeah, player. <laughs> yeah, you play Testament. <laughs> and you can you can uh, safe jab me with Clothes Slash, and that's fucked up. It's, it's fucked up, but I'm also, I'm thankful for it. Yeah. The doc took... What? What are you talking doc about? Doc took your balls, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got another game five because everyone wants to be here for as long as possible. Of course, of course. We're cooking today. Yeah. Yo -yo oh, stay safe. I love how she's running this pressure right now. It's just, it's so hard for Rin Chi to, you know, find spots to mash like Viking players normally want to because Mari just keeps doing these preemptive options like right there. Yep. Nice yeah. hit there. Oh. Up Bridget, by the way. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, the throw doesn't quite go through. Finding it, finding the throw after the shimmy, and with a red RC, this is going to be take a little bit of work. What the routing. hell was that called? Incredible combo. routing. That Mari's, was crazy. <laughs> Mari's just making shit up and it works. All right, all right. <laughs> Wow, really good stuff. And burst safe as well, thanks to the wild assault. Yeah, really <laughs> smart choice. Be done. Mari was just such a good adaptation here, and look at the pressure coming out. Made Rinchi afraid of hitting the parry button after so many there's a there's a threshold of whiff parries that every biking player has. You just have to find that. You have to punish like X amount of parries before you uh <laughs> Oh Lord. Oh look at the the yo-yo oh, this... tosses. Not gonna be death, but you do have to block this. Yeah, and this should be it. OTG? Nice. Yeah, she's done. gonna take it. What an adaptation from Sky Metro. That was In... crazy. Yeah, incredible. We'll pop over to the scoreboard here. And that is Rinchi going down to Mari. Now we have a choice. You can just tell. Go ahead. Oh yeah, we're Oh, you can just tell that Mari, like, really has put a lot of work into this matchup and is just... She's playing the game plan that isn't, like, necessarily as rewarding and satisfying, but it's what you need to do against Biken, and it takes a lot of restraint, so it's really cool to see that she's able to implement that so effectively. Yep. Mari will be staying on the cabinet. We have a choice between Rin and Rogis coming in. She moving different. We got some Mari fans in the chat for sure. We're all Mari fans here, to be honest. You're either a fan or a rival, and there's not much difference. <laughs> <laughs> True. Born ball detected. There we go. Thank you. We got another corn ball detected. Hold on, I got you. I can drag this on the stream. Corn ball detected. <laughs> oh, I love that. You should not give me any access to that, because I will not use it responsibly. <laughs> that, that'll be a fun. I'll try to see if I can work in some uh, a channel point reward that'll flash that up on screen. <laughs> you need to do an event where the commentators can just talk shit about everyone playing. <laughs> just uh, the con It's like a dick's bar where the mm. commentators are just assholes to you. <laughs> There's like a sad trumpet like sound you can play. Stuff like that. I think it'd be a good time. In Rogis, a main right. menace. Yeah, I, I, again, I don't really know what this matchup looks like now, but I think last season, everyone agreed it was pretty close to even. That's it's cool. it's another situation where Bridget kind of plays really strong neutral that can answer a lot of the stuff May likes to do, but I mean, May just actually kills her. Yeah. 
Um, and, and not like Biken just actually kills her. Like, actually, actually, you can just make five wrong decisions and the set is over. Right. But, I mean, based on the way Sky Metro was playing last set, she's ready for that. Rocking one of those new Odin's Eye Gaming skins. I love them so much. I'm so excited for Elusive to finish their move. Ooh, rocking the Dolphin Cancel a little bit there. Norgis has been cooking it up in the streets, hasn't been playing a ton of Strive. Can't wait to see Rim play Kai, so true. Oh, a nice conversion there. So, good damage coming in as well. This is this is the only canon matchup that matters. <laughs> and it's Girlfriend because matchup? It's, because it's not canon at all. <laughs> I feel like it probably happened at some point. Yeah, probably. Oh, this is bad. You're dead. Goodbye. Uh, oh, yeah, with Wild Assault. Oh, no! no not dead. I wonder if 6H would have killed there. I think that there was... Oh, try to get a Wild Assault in. Gets a good conversion off the BRC. Yeah, that's that is a hard situation to convert correctly off of. Uh, but you you are dead. This is not invulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. She's dead. Yeah, it's actually. Oh, it I think if there convert. was a route that you got the uh, wall splat there without the wild assault, because the wild assault does have really aggressive scaling. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It's just so tempting to use it to extend. Oh, and there's a charge dust. <laughs> the May Classic earning that burst here. Yeah, he both of it. them just playing very patient neutral. I mean, you just don't want to approach each other right now. Oh, and that's this is the beginning. Yep, this is the POV. You just got hit by Bridget in a quote-unquote unwinnable matchup. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a nice little JS though from Rogue Geese. Tying it up here. Yeah. That is probably the one thing that's a relief for Sky Metro is you get to run actual Bridget mix in this matchup. Oh, you don't yeah. have to worry about Perry anymore. So yeah, you can see she's doing real Bridget shit now, and it's a lot harder to deal with. That's crazy, Kelvo. I'm so sorry. Oh, she got the TK too? Oh, dude, she plays... Dude, Mari's so good. Mari's so good! There we go. Ogie's trying to find something the 2k2d into Dolphin is going to be the answer here. Got to block this out. Some free plus frames from across the screen. Block for your life. Yep. Nice oh, good mash. mash though. <laughs> the DP getting hit up by the fireball. But now you're in a block for your life situation again. Just block the high low. Just, just simply guess correctly. It's that simple. Simply block. Simply guess right. That's a okay though. Rogis going down 1 0. Mari cooking it up a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Gotta love to see it. Close though, especially with the uh, that charge dust, I think was a pretty defining moment of the first game. That's that's the kind of thing you really need to uh, mentally steal yourself against when you get hit by it. Yeah. I mean, and that's the kind of thing too that, like, as those charge dust, you once you identify that your opponent is a charge charge dust gamer, like it, it really just kind of has an effect on your entire mental stack. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I think uh, it's kind of a, a one-time deal. Oh no, the deflect shield not quite working out. Works out a little bit that time, but unfortunately, Bridget just gets to keep running that pressure. Yeah, I have to imagine Bridget is not a character deflect shield does a whole lot against most yep. of the time Rogi's like even so there hard. it's what you said like the second hit just she had to block it anyways yep Yo. red rc coming in the wire c gets blocked but no punish Rogi's having a hard time getting out of this pressure i will say bridget is historically a demon of my entire team <laughs> mm. i wonder why i wonder why <laughs> Here we go, though. Good pressure again coming in for Mari. Wild Assault's in. Rogi's aggressively spending this burst meter. But Mari with some really good patience. Bringing a little bit of the burst meter herself. Back into an Oki situation in the corner. That's probably the worst case scenario. With 100 meter against a Bridget, you are not feeling too good. Oh, and getting the super, too, for the kill. Very clean stuff. 
Beast getting cooked up a little bit on that one. The swag. And her when did Mari get so clean? That's what I'm saying. Have you not been watching her? Mari is too clean. Actually, just banned from the tournament, um, from the event. Uh, too clean. I need to fix my webcam. No, she's been clean. He's been clean. This is old news. There we go. Bridget, Bridget plays just like that, though. I don't know what to say. He's so fresh and so clean. I've been avoiding Strive SF6 Gaming. Fair, fair. I've been avoiding... Why are you never on SF when I'm on F SF? Yeah, come on, Kel. <laughs> I took a month break and you didn't play any SF. I can't believe this. <laughs> Oh, oh, back throw incident. Back on the name, for sure. Man, I just, I don't know if I like these deflect shields. I'm not sure they're yeah. really doing a whole lot. Yeah, Rogi's trying to make the deflect shields work, but it's really, I think, doing more harm than good at this point. Mm -hmm. Nice counter hit there, though. Trying to get a little bit of a reset. Having a little bit of a hard time finding some of the, uh, these uh, in the incredible May counter hits that lead to the full kills. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Production? What? It's 2 0. Oh, my B, my B, my B. I hit the wrong button. Oh my god, it just hit anyways. <laughs> it just hit anyways. What the? <laughs> it's wild. The deflect shield is tragic in this matchup. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no shot. The flex shield is whack. <laughs> He's trying to find some jump in situations here. Are just gonna be getting just whiffed on that one. <laughs> oh, and this should be a pretty big conversion here. At the very least, you can get Oki off it. Yeah. Uh, -2K2 and now you're back in. in the corner. There's a reversal, but it's a safe jump, Mari. Hooking it up here, maybe looking to seal this up 3-0. But Ruggies has one more opportunity to start the reverse sweep. The Wild Assault didn't quite connect on that one. Plus frames, and the low uh, connects. That's a 2, that's 3-0, and that, that makes two wins for Mari, right? That does make two wins for Mari. Mari getting $5? That's my fucking Mari, dog. That's crazy, dude. She's playing so well. That means that the final member of Onzai Gaming, Rin, is going to be up. Mother said it's my turn to play on the Xbox, and it is true. The Narwhal Gaming crew is going to have to pull a, uh, pardon me, pull a new player in. They got a couple to choose from. I believe JP and Cotter are the options. Uh, looks like we're getting Cotter in right now. Guys, get the counterpick, Cotter. <laughs> uh, they Kai is up, right? It's, yep. It's, yep. It, yeah. It is Rin. Rin is the last one on the roster. We're gonna be getting a little bit of Kai Kiesk versus Axel. Mm -hmm. No, the a couple of my players have been playing against this character quite a bit. Oh, just, um. All right, very patient start from both of them. Cotter just trying to create some space here, but Rin finding the opportunity. Oh yeah, huge hit, but just waits for the burst there, not, not trying to take the conversion. Yeah, Rin doing a really good job of holding down the corner now. But, you know, Cotter staying patient, just kind of waiting. And it's working out for her. Oh, absolutely. Let's go, Rin, indeed. Got some Rin fans in the chat. I feel like these are both two characters who, you know, they their players will tell you, like, our pressure's just completely fake, and then you see them do all this weird, like, jump JH shit, and it's like, yep. are, you, are you sure? Oh, nice huge. On the command think... grab. Connor's cooking a little bit. I think you're dead here. Oh, no teabag. Oh, oh no. I think those were supposed to be bombers. Go. 
Yeah, draining the burst there. Nicely done. we has got the Foozies. we has got some of the pressure as well. Getting some of that Wild Assault pressure down. Got to make the adaptation. The Axel does look pretty scary right now. Cotter is definitely another player who has just leveled up incredibly. Oh, for sure, yeah. I think one thing that's really standing out is just how good she's been at mashing out of these pressure situations. Although it seems like Rin is kind of starting to adjust to that a little bit. Yeah, but Rin is an adapter for sure on that one. Cotter's been showing a lot of patience, which you kind of need as Axel, because it's it's sort of inevitable when you play Axel that eventually you're going to get bullied into the corner. And, you know, <laughs> you just need to be prepared to deal with that. And Cotter has the patience to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that, I mean, Axel in general, I always say, is a character that's, like, so good to be... Uh, Connor the she neat. <laughs> We're not doing this again. <laughs> not strong enough. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Thank you, Rin, for swapping. I was I was gonna have a, a stern talk. You're not rocking the OEG skin. Where you at? <laughs> None of your players are wearing the jersey. It's crazy. Yeah, uh, listen, they got it. They got it rocked on now. Oh, oh yeah, getting caught by the wind. The cherry. Whatever it's called. Yep. I don't know Axel's move names. Uh, Cherry Bomb, I think is what that one is. Or Winter Cherry. That's what I... Or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Something Cherry. Yeah. Nice little 2k 2d. I mean, Rin, Rin is also one of those Kai players that just does such a good job of taking advantage of the consistency. It's insane. Mm. Like, Kai is such an incredibly consistent... Winter Cherry. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Kai is just yeah. such a character that is so consistent and will just absolutely smoke you off of that one interaction every single time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're seeing that because, like, Cotter is doing a good job zoning zoning Rin, but, you know, Rin oh, that's so good. is kind of just finding these small opportunities to get through the gaps. And once Rin starts running pressure, it's so hard to get out of his pressure. Yeah. Go. But There's Cotter getting hit. a little aggressive here. Yeah, trying the win, managing to make it in after a so um, climbing the Sisyphus Mountain against the Axel of just very, very patiently dash blocking in until you start getting close enough for the Axel to start panicking a little bit. I think that you might be going down to this. You're going to hero burst on that. The full screen Fudra arc with a red RC. If you kill here, you don't. Okay, but you do get Oki. That was an insane set of choices, but it worked out for Rin really well. Oh, but that's 2H. The 2H coming out. Cotter taking the stock here. Yeah, full screen again. Right where she wants to be. And now you're now you're in the corner against Axel. Well, never mind. Yeah, not the not the most enviable position, but also for a character like Kai with so many jump out opportunities. Yeah, he's he's tough to keep down. Between Stun Dipper and Fujiark and DPs and everything, Kai's tricky to keep pinned down. Speaking of which, Kai, Keyscape, Far Slash, nice use of the Flex Shield there. Actually, Did we see the it. first good Deflect Shield of the night? He might have. Oh, nice jump in. Oh, gets oh, huge pick up. out of the air. Oh, this is a lot of damage, actually. We're not in a happy oh. situation. The command grab is nicely done by Cotter. Evening it up, getting on the board. Very good stuff. Oh, really, really good stuff coming in. Yeah, and Rin, Rin for so long was just looking like a demon. Like Rin just kind of was ignoring everything Cotter was trying to do, and like, I'm just going to shove you into the into like the corner and bully you. But Cotter kind of picked up on that and has just been playing a lot more reactively, and it's been paying off a lot for her. Cotter is online, indeed. Gonna have to Cotter make some is logged in. Do the Axel play? Bring some of that pressure. Mm. Plug deep through that into her dome. <laughs> Ooh, I like the run-up grab. Calling out the dash blocking habits that Rin's been showing a little bit. No punish on the throw, unfortunately. Done bursting aggressively here. That 5P. Stun Dipper in. Another Stun Dipper. Does get punished this time by the Cotter, though. Yeah, Stun Dipper notoriously a little inconsistent at comboing into the second hit off normal hits. And this might be dead? No, not quite. 
go. But you are in a bad si Dragon it's, install, let's go. It's dragon install time. Iron. Iron is unironically a dragon install gamer, will be hitting you with it. <laughs> there we go. No Fire. meter to convert into the kill here, though. This is a scary situation to be. PRC, 2K2D. You have to hold this. Hold this for a little bit longer. And, I mean, there's so many threats right now. I mean, Stun hitch. Dipper. Oh my oh, goodness, this is terrifying. Again. Oh, the oh, lands the landing frames. That's oh. incredible. Connor finding the stock even through the dragon install. Yeah, Rin. Rin is one of those rare Kai players that if you don't know the dragon install matchup, like, you're gonna learn. <laughs> yeah, we were definitely seeing some really cool stuff from him. But, uh, you know, dragon install has a reputation for a reason. Oh, yeah. The dragon install in the lose is not quite being defeated this day. Nice dash blocking from Rin, but a good RC. Oh, I like the PRC. Nice tick throw, and the throw does enough damage. Rin making the comeback happen. <laughs> Brown start IBFD, all right. Yep. I mean, Rin's got to work yeah. really hard to kind of keep the momentum here because Cotter, even though they're. The match is completely tied right now. Cotter just feels like she has so much momentum in the matchup. Rin does have a burst advantage right now, though, which is pretty huge. Yep. Ooh, this is pretty good. Wallace all through the wall, getting that hard knockdown on the other side. Cotter does have some meter. This is safe. I already see the block coming out. And no is yeah. the punish, but didn't quite get the quite right routing. It's so hard to punish Axel Super. Go Red RC. Into the 6k, the Rin special, we're doing it again. Into the tick throw, just building up that mental stack. Oh, where's the RTL? <laughs> no. <Narrr. laughs> Rin going up 2-1 so far. Very close set so far, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Good, good work. I feel like positive bonus Kai now with Stun Dipper as it is. It's kind of terrifying how easily he has access to Stun Dipper or to uh, positive bonus considering everything. Yeah. Not necessarily one of the first characters you'd look at as a positive bonus offender, but. Yeah. Ooh, and great. That's going to swap sides. Uh, Rin, Rin being a little jumpy though, so kind of hard to get these throws on him. But the command grabs have been doing a good job building up that mental stack in the uh, in the long term. Like getting those back after jump out reactions. Ooh, trying to go for a run up oh. charge dust. I think it was maybe supposed to be a throw. Oh, very fair. Uh, but now you got to deal with positive bonus Kai. Ooh, a little tap dust. You don't have to deal with positive bonus Kai for very long, thankfully, because it is just that that fast. This this character is low damage, right? That's what the Kai players told me. I have never heard. If I heard a Kai player tell me that, I would cry and probably never talk to him again. <laughs> Rin Street Fighter ass is getting dash check with Jazz. I see you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The Kai players yes. ever told the truth. So so true. I have never heard a Kai player tell the truth. Counter hit jab. Oh no, the Winter Cherry hits on the landing. Oh, this oh and the 2S. Counter. She's been hitting that 2S so much. Oh yeah. This and now scary. you have to get in. Oh no. This is scary, but not for me, apparently. Rin <laughs> says, finds the conversion, gets the hard knockdown. What a wild combo. Oh my god, what? what's going on here? Just fully whiffed on the 5k. Got her taking the round. You lied just now, Ashen. <laughs> oh, nice air to air landing there. Really hard to challenge Kai in the air like that. Ooh, oh, just awesome. ducks under the Fuja arc. Yeah, I love it. Because now you're in the corner. You thought that it was me that got pushed to the wall when it was in fact you. Another Axel I'm Bomber. I love that Cotter just has those corner combos down pat for like oh. 
2S counter hit anti-air. The 6P, all oh, the meter gets spent. Nicely done. Jar coming in, 2K2D to punish. And now Rin is in the Axel win con. Not quite an OTG moment. Only has so much meter to work with here. We're, we're scaring Once a little bit. run up 5K? <laughs> all right, we see you, Connor. Done, Connor bringing us to a game five. Doing really nice right now. Oh god, we got Kai players in the chat now. I'm yeah, just gonna minimize, I'm just gonna close Twitch real quick. <laughs> and we got, we got another game five, right? Yep, Should this be... is another game five. My god, you guys do not want to go to bed tonight. <laughs> they are cooking for sure. Yeah, and you can see Cotter is really dialed in this kind of style of play where she's waiting for the anti-air and then just has this 2S ready to go. And it's making getting in on her just so hard for Rin. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but yeah, that's going to be a great pick up there. Rin resetting into the corner pressure a little bit. That Axel 2H is just such a, such a fuck you button. Ooh, nice mm -hmm. little reset on the air pressure there. We are not quite going through the wall. One more interaction is going to be enough. Look at that. Good stuff coming out from Rin. Now it's time to be the closer, Rin. <laughs> I'll let my bias show a little bit. Oh, the double. The you got double this, win. Connor. That good patience holding on to the burst. Helping you out a little bit on this one. Now Rin getting the uh, dash blocks down really well. A little bit of lack of confidence in some of the timings. We're going through the wall here. Oh, not quite. Just a what dash the... of DP, oh no. You know, I was about to say we haven't seen Rin use DP almost at all this entire set, but uh... Oh, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> it looks like she kind of dialed in the grab there, but uh... Ooh, uh no, yeah, the just throw. barely out of range. A run up DP doing its job for Rin, gonna be taking down Cotter. Yeah, great stuff for both players. Cotter definitely put up a hell of a fight there. Absolutely. So that is Potter going down another life over to the OEG squad. Cotter was I'm so shit at the video game. Cotter was absolutely cooking. OEG, what happened? We're trying out here. Breakfast Burrito and Sky Metro are monsters. So JP is the last one remaining for the Narwhal crew. Go ahead, make and sure either it's way, going. it's going to be a reset at the end of this, right? Because this is win or loot. Oh, no, JP might stay in. Yep, JP could uh, okay. stay in and we'll be hitting the second portion. Dadding? Keep your head in the game for sure. Yeah, we're huge Cotter fans over here. <laughs> we do, we, we do love. I mean, it's really cool to see, you know, how much growth players like Cotter and players like uh, Mari have really made happen here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Gonna be seen. I think you, you can really tell who's been grinding in this game. Oh yeah. JP's still on Eno these days, right? I think they've they've always kind of been an Eno player, right? Yeah, I believe so. Um, JP has I think floated around a little bit, but not a, not much. I think they've always been uh, on the Eno. Yeah, because I, I know I know at the beginning of the patch, a lot of Eno players were kind of dooming and thinking about switching it up, but. That kind of went away after they played with the character a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. It has a go to. Okay. I'm not sure who you'd want to go for here. But yeah, it looks like I'm going to be running the Eno. JP is a jacko. Interesting. Definitely going to be running the Eno. Eno is pretty dang juiced this patch. Almost as juiced as Kai Far Slash. <laughs> yeah, both these characters, I think, are huge winners from this patch so far. Although, you know, Kai, Kai players will tell you Stun Dipper is a little slower now, as if that matters. So. But I think, I think both of them are... Uh significantly stronger both with their own changes and with the system mechanics you know favoring characters um 
like like Kai, who can whiff punish off of long buttons, and Eno, who just like her main weakness was just having bad conversions, and now she that's just not a problem for her anymore. Absolutely. And now it's just so scary to get put in the blender against her. Yep. Because you might just actually die if you guess wrong now. Here we go. Nice conversion oh here. He's cooking up what a are Eno players doing, man? <laughs> Whatever they want, I think, is the answer. <laughs> there we go. YRC coming out. Very scary. Going to be eating away some of that burst as well. The JP combo. Oh, no. <laughs> All the way through the wall. You know, JP living up to their name, I guess. Just waiting Ooh. for that HCL potentially to come in here. Rin, though, has yeah. some robbery potential here, actually. Could be at least stealing a burst. Oh, goes under the fireball. Red RC bursting out the heroic burst, but another hero burst back. Look at that. So much meter and resource being spent here. Oh, that was yeah. one round. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this, please. These narwhal people kind of cooking a little bit here. The comeback I'm is saying. insane. A huge opportunity here. Not gonna get wild assault. Well, maybe. Just chooses to take the reset though. Yeah, this is not where you want to be, the megalomania. Ah, uh, never mind. Pack Play it up. The, the Eno player got the man grab. <laughs> yep. Uh, damage nerf, by the way. Damage nerf. <laughs> damage nerf, by the way. Nicely done. Nicely done for JP. See, and it's so scary now because you know that they're willing to do it. Mm -hmm. So that's just, now, you also need to represent Fuzzy Jump, and you really don't want to be doing that against Eno if you don't have to. Yeah, exactly. I do like Rin representing the DP a little bit, forcing JP to do a little bit of the, uh, you know, the, there's something that I learned from Squoid a long time ago, that's like, Eno players are all lazy and won't do safe jumps unless you make them do safe jumps. <laughs> Yeah, Eno has a lot of stuff like that, where if she actually wants to cover a lot of defensive options, she has to do kind of subpar pressure. Yep. And so you as the opponent like really need to force her to actually have to use that stuff, or else she's just going to keep running the layer 1 mix, which is by far the hardest to deal with. Yeah, absolutely. Making something happen here, though. Oh no, does get hit up, and that is JP taking the first round. Yeah, Megalomania is a really cool super. Megalomania is very But very close first game too. I think JP was kinda of running away with it towards the end, but uh yeah. you know, Rin Rin has just showed they're they're kinda of ready to deal with whatever gets thrown at them. So Yeah, for sure. Definitely gotta do a little bit of the adaptation, a little bit of a uh, just adjusting to the different player and different pace of play. Having the back-to-back -back matches, I mean, it can definitely be a be a tiring experience, especially when you got the the weight of the 2-0 on your shoulders. Yeah, it's a blessing and a curse. Oh, what a burst bait as well! Nice tick throw. We're just in the you know blender right now. Oh, and a frame kill too. I like it. Oh, no. Maybe a, no, you didn't punny. Yeah, it turns out that's a uh, that's invincible and still active even if it whiffs. Yeah. Yeah, it is. JP taking the round here. Let's go. <laughs> we got some questions. We got some questions in the chat. Nice check on the 5k there from Rin. JP, keeping the momentum going. How do you clip something? You there's a clip button. <laughs> you ever I don't know about you, but I always whenever I fight an Eno, I just get the impression that they do not respect me as a player oh, one yeah. bit. And it doesn't really matter who the Eno is, they all just kinda Oh damn. Oh, all that still be safe. us <laughs> two. Yep. Not too bad. But JP taking the second round as well, looking really solid here. Nicely done. What is this? Yeah, this this looks very different from how the last set was going with Rin. I mean, JP, they were struggling a bit in the first game, but once they got past that, they are just running away with this. Yeah, for sure. We'll get to see if Rin can make the reverse comeback happen. Dive kick is minus now. It yeah, dive kick's fake now, but I mean, good luck. 
trying to uh, punish it correctly in the moment. Go JP early up 2-0. The last fight of our first segment here. Nice counter hit on the Dire Clot. Rin managing to get a little bit of the momentum back. Definitely needs to see them be on the offense a little bit here. Draw. Yeah, and they're doing starting to do a good job of mashing on the Eno pressure, which is definitely something that can be kind of scary, but um, if you find the right spots, it can get you really far, as we're seeing here. YRC coming in off of the red RC. Nice exchange of meter, trying to get the turn back. Rin finding a good mash spot and checking again with the 5k, starting to find some more of the um, well, some more of the options in the uh, against this particular Eno. I mean, a lot of these mixed characters, I think that um, you know, Bridget is almost the ex ex exception to this because Bridget kind of has some more linear mix. Uh, it isn't quite as like personal as like Eno and Milia are. But I do feel like you really just have to adjust to the very specific style that that particular Eno has. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. There's like, there's ways you can fuzzy block against Eno that makes it easier, but at the end of the day, every Eno player has their own way of mixing. Yeah, for sure. Now, potentially on match point here for JP. Oh, really nice conversion, too. Yeah. Not going to seal it out with the ball, no. JP's defense has been really solid as well. Been crumbling a little bit when in the corner, but in this neutral situation, oh, quite a full conversion. Finds the back dash. We're going all the way to the corner, and we get a reset for the Oki. Wild Assault through, ride the lightning to maximize the damage. Okay, good. Oh my god, I didn't, I didn't think that was going to kill. Well, oops, it looks like we accidentally got Daru Eno in our team <laughs> instead of JP. Nice. I'm sorry, Kai. Kai players, I was I was told that Ride the Lightning doesn't do enough damage to it kill ever. It does do no damage. <laughs> this is what Dara would have looked like as Evo if they were allowed to have his sexy mods. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Getting into a game four here, Rin trying to make the comeback happen. You guys haven't seen JP's sex mods, and we never will. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully. You can literally splat it all in one hit through. Arjil does no damage if you really need it to kill. So true. I Sacred just Edge, saw it kill! <laughs> Sacred Edge does do more damage. It was, that was actually so close to not killing. <laughs> Sacred Edge going through the wall. Shock State gets the safe. Nice! And finds the punish as well in the reversal. Two, one. Oh, yeah. I did update. I'm sorry. I got, oh, I got some of the... I got, I got. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, Rin, Rin has kind of shown there. He's he's figured out ways to make uh, to kind of check JP on offense now. Whereas JP was getting to just kind of loop uh, 50-50s over and over. And now Rin has shown that he knows the spots where he needs to challenge. Now finding and... another hit here. Oh, it doesn't quite get the full combo. This is scary. This could be the backdoor incident of a lifetime megalomania. We're going through the wall. How much is this gonna do? Yeah, that's a lot. Nerf damage, by the way. Oh, that's scary. The overhead lands. Eesh. We have meter, the Megalomania again. Oh, no, not the Megalomania. Uh, did you, just, <laughs> you just did 4T6? That's crazy, dude. <laughs> now, Eno players are insane. The Eno players got something going on for sure. Oh, tries to get the uh, deflect shield on. JP is unhinged indeed. Rin has to make something happen, has to find a way to escape this Eno pressure. This is match point right now. Burst is available, but Eno has not been touched yet. And you get another reset. Here we go. This oh God, is what a backdash. the opportunity to you drag can install. super... No. There we go. YRC coming in. Dragon install gaming time. Dragon install into the burst, but the dive kick is going to connect. Mm -hmm. AP taking it. Three to one. We'll pop on over evil to the player. Evil. Very nicely done. And that puts us into our full reset as both teams now. Uh, well, JP is going to be in for one more round. But the OEG team is now fully reset. 
and is going to be able to send in whoever they would like to counterpick the... Is it too late to put Narwhal in front of my tag? <laughs> Dude, the Narwhal players earn in their paychecks from Burst. I'm going to cry, indeed. I, I love this, too, because, like, image-wise, like, OEG kind of comes across as, like, a legitimate, like, organization and team, and they do all this shit, whereas yeah. Narwhal is just, like, a bunch of dudes that Burst was just like, hey, you want to play with me? Exactly. It's just like his little gang of hooligans. It's, I love it. <laughs> the gang of hooligans is definitely showing up right now. <laughs> what do you mean, jumping ship? I've been rooting for you guys this whole time. <laughs> I have to. I'm on the mic with Pariah Docs. Yeah, I got the OEG shirt on. Come on. <laughs> we, we, need the, we need the other side of the bias. We'll be seeing... Oh, yeah, for sure. We can take, uh, actually, yeah, I do need to grab a drink, and Tipper's had a great suggestion. Since we are at the about the halfway point, we're going to take a quick bio break. We'll be back in, like, five minutes or so. I will send out a ping to everybody to let them know. JP's over here giggling and kicking his feet. Oh, Lord. We'll go over to that BRB real quick. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and grab a bio break for us as well. We'll be back once Mink gets back. Let me grab a water real quick. Pop back over to the chatting screen. Hello, everybody. They're uh, here. We have It's Mink going in to be the counter pick against JP. A little check in. Sounds like morale is still high. We got some good hopes here. It's Mink. See what they can cook up. Yeah, I mean, I think I think uh, so far both teams have been putting up a really good front. Ah, I can't. I can't talk. I took a bio break and my mouth just stopped working. <laughs> Both teams have been putting up a really good fight so far, though. These have not been runaway sets for the most part. These have been really close slugfests. Yeah. All are good to go now. Whenever you are ready. We've got the Nago versus the Eno. I mean, I think that this is definitely going to be just a, like... You are... Oh, excuse me. Oh. This is going to be a who hits who first kind of matchup. <laughs> I feel oh, like. yeah. Because, like, how does Nago get out of Eno pressure once it right. starts? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, what, what does he do? Um, but then also, how does Eno get close to Nago? So, right. much to think about. Yeah, definitely... And, you know, I'll go get that ball rolling. 
And honestly, I don't know if I've seen this matchup very much. Besides maybe like Daru fought Nubenheimer one time, maybe. But I don't actually know how this plays out most of the time. We'll see. Get, but at some point, get JP back on the stand here. Ugh. Very exciting stuff, though. Now that the uh, some of the RPS is kind of... The RPS goes down and goes up in interesting kind of situations with this bracket format. Because now, Onzai Gaming has all of the options as far as what characters to send in. And we only we know that JP is the one in, right? But now, yeah. the, uh, some of the counterpicking ability is going to be in the favor of Narwhal with having the healthier players that you could potentially just throw in to sack a game is and knock one of the uh, OEG players out for the rotation could definitely be some interesting kind of RPS that you play through there. Yeah, I think Mink really needs to win this one because if, if Mink goes out, then there are three people on Narwhal oh. who have two hearts and that is... A mountain to climb that anyone is going to have some trouble doing. Yeah, absolutely. And especially with how even that we've seen some of these matchups kind of going. You know, we saw Max cooking it up a little bit in the, at the start, but was still going very, very even and did fall down to the Burst Dragon. Um, or to the... Uh... I think that was... I actually don't remember. <laughs> uh, it was, it was a Burrito that took out Max, sorry. Yeah, and then there's like, you know, there's the, also the issue of like, you know, maybe you can take a set off Rito or Sky Metro, but like, can you take two? Right, exactly. Yeah, the the pressure of the full reverse sweep of the enemy team. That's a lot. For sure. Okay, looks like we're getting into it though. Yeah, we should be caught up now. Getting back into it, it's Mink versus JP. Gonna have to deal with some of the Eno Schmixin. I have to imagine that JP was in was just waiting in the voice chat, just getting tips from Burrito about how this matchup went last time for him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Change society. Oh, you guys are playing on this stage? What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's the Eno stage. It's not a good stage to play on. Fair, fair. Nago Schmixin gonna go hard. I believe it. Leaving our homie, it's Mink. JP, though, did show some really, really good stuff. Let the intros rock as well. I like to see it. <laughs> yeah, the Nago mix is, like, not so much scary in the fact that he has mix, but more just, like, I feel like people just aren't used to it now. Yeah. And, you know, you're aware, you're like, okay, DP2 is an overhead, but you don't really internalize that for a very long time right so and a lot also, of those yeah also just like the amount of payoff that nago gets from the mix is uh, something to be said for sure here's the back throw incident here we go just waiting for something to hit you gotta get some very that close blood to popping back. though a little trade there i think it's a 5e trading into the uh jumping slash Bursting out. Ah, uh, dig you. Okay, get, gets the hit. Ah, uh, he might get the kill here. Nicely done. Pulling out some of that Nago damage. Mink skirting the very edge of Blood Pop there. Yep. Round start. You know, the round start DP is a little bit older on the tech side. A lot of Nagos are doing, uh, I know Tester Lux is doing a lot of 5k into DP. A lot of them doing the White Wild Assault on round start as well, just to say, you know, Nago already said fuck RPS, but now he just says fuck RPS even harder on round start. <laughs> yeah, because, like, even if you block a White Wild Assault, he gets mix, I think, off of it between Command Throw and, you know, Close Slash, yep. so. Oh, here we go, though. Eno's doing some Eno things, getting hit up by the Fireball. A hundred meter and burst available. We're going through another wall. Fortunately, Pause Bows does not stack. There's a gold burst. Oh, you're just dead? Oh, no, we dropped! YRC coming in. 2K, 2D. Into the super. I think this is the new move, so you're not safe here. Nicely done. Oh. Yeah, I thought that was just a hover dash. Yeah, that was a... You, she started, like, kicking her legs back. <laughs> it's very, very similar animations. 
Dog, I'm gonna get freed up at Siotaku by an Eno player. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Big tank of the first round. Nicely done. A good start with some momentum for us. Yeah, I don't understand what is making Eno so juice this patch, which means that I'm gonna get absolutely demolished if I end up fighting one. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. <laughs> Eno's definitely, I think, one of those characters that, like, at least last patch, now, now she's like a lot more legitimate of a threat. But last patch, even though she was like weak, she's still one of the scariest characters to run into because of just how oh, yeah. she forces you to play the game. It's really uncomfortable, especially in Bracket. For sure. Here we go into the fight. She's done nicely done. A little TK. Beyblading in. A full screen advancing low. Tries to go for the tap. Does. We're at 100% risk here for. Oh, the Eno, but does find a mash. DRC trying to get some mix going. Uh, what the hell did low. we just see? That was like a million mix. Yep. Go into the DP. Building that blood back up a little bit. White, white, or the red wild assault coming in. Oh no, finds a hit here. Oh, great <laughs> reset. Is just playing so fast and loose with these resets. Catching Mink, mashing a little bit. And the 2k reset, that is enough. Nicely done by JP. Yeah, it's it's really common for people in those that kind of situation when it looks like the combo got dropped to just reflexively just go for wake up throw to try to yep. get them out of uh, the continued combo, but JP was ready for it. Yeah, absolutely. There we go, we're in some of the Eno corner pressure. Using that new move now. Yeah, and I love the way that JP's been adjusting their pressure to deal with the FD from Mink. Yep. So it seems like it's almost just like not even a factor, uh, oh, just because of how well he's managing it. Just finding a hit on the meaty there from its mink, very nicely done. The command grabs have been doing really, really well for me. Yeah, especially since he likes to play such a high blood style, I think yep. it's really important that you're good at doing that, and he definitely is. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good. But he arc. seems to be playing a lot more patiently now. Yeah, I think he's trying to find some options on the defense here. Getting caught throwing a little bit too often. What on earth was that? You're not dead. But that what? was a combo of all time. <laughs> what do you mean 2P into 6H after BRC? Oh, here we go. It's been gonna get a wall break of their own. No hard knockdown on the other side. Gonna be saving that burst meter just in case. BRC into the JP's really nice block from its being. Here we go. Now we're running the mix. The overhead lands. A tap dust gonna be getting wire seed, and that blood is cranking right now. Yeah, and like, this is the other problem with the matchup. Eno is actually a pretty competent zoner, all things considered. Yeah, and absolutely. Naga, when he gets to high blood, really struggles at dealing with zoners. That is, I mean, you know, if you're just sitting full screen, hitting HCL, taking advantage of the uh, of the heavy jump, you know, mm -hmm. not quite able to jump over it or duck under it with a dash as effectively as some other characters can definitely be a scary, scary thing. Yeah, so I think that's 1-1 one, one now, right? That is 1-1 one, one now, yep. Game 3. I've returned from casuals to support. Let's go. How'd the casuals go? Did you win? Did you win? What was the set count? Well, see, if I lose their casuals, I win their serious game. <laughs> True! <laughs> I'm mailing the results to rating update. <laughs> there we go. Nice 6P coming out from Mink. Landing the command grab again, and this is... Oh, no, another one. And then the RPS. That's the classics. That was a Nago round, for sure. Uh, that's that Nago mental stack round. It's just like, all right, well, you know. Shame on me for guessing wrong, I suppose. Yeah. And you just gotta kind of accept that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. Mink is setting some really aggressive burst down range as well. Oh no, what some the, pogo pressure. <laughs> what the hell is this pressure? <laughs> there we go. It's Mink with some interesting pressure options for sure. Hey, I mean, if it works. Oh, I like the deflect shield, but unfortunately, Nago has those advancing normals that really just make it so it's not even that big of a deal. The far slash does get hit up by the two eights. It's crazy how ready JP has been to confirm into Wild Assault off so many just random hits. For sure. 
the Pogo, at <laughs> least Pogo obsessed Nago. Nice back throw into a red RC. Finds the hit as well with a 2H. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was really good stuff from Mink. Just kind of running away with it the whole time. Yep. I was that in the pressure. zone, the doom zone. <laughs> we all get in the doom zone sometimes. <laughs> Okay. JP gonna have to make some adjustments to happen here. I mean, I think that Mink is doing a really good job is with the uh, just uh, bursting really, really aggressively. Just making sure like anytime they're getting hit, they're just like, no, instead of ha being forced to be in Eno pressure, I'm just bursting so that I can run my shit instead. Yeah, you get the sense that Mink is like, I'm really good at running my turn, so I'm just going to optimize my entire game plan to make sure it's my turn as often as possible. Yep. And I mean, you know, all characters build up burst meter for you really quickly nowadays. It's, it used to be just kind of the Milias, the Chips, the Bridget that built up your burst meter really fast. But as long as you're going through the wall, and especially when someone's confirming with Wild Assault as often as JP is, you're building back a lot of burst, which is, you know, at least that's good for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. There we go. Both players pretty even. Oh, the clone didn't quite get the follow-up. I don't think I thought the note was going to hit there. Yeah, a lot of blood to work with, though. Oh, no. This is kind of scary. Into the Shouldn't wild be cell. dead. Look at that. Burst yeah. is back for its mink, but I have to find something to do. Has a lot of meter here. Oh, I think I that think was supposed to be bite. I think you're dead? Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, yeah oh, you're... Oh, dead. you're... <laughs> You're big time done. <laughs> that first hit did too much damage. <laughs> That's too much sauce. I got hit with the unreactable acid reflux. What are you talking about? <laughs> there we go, that full screen low Beyblade coming in. Lots of blood being spent, but a lot fewer pops. I think it's definitely online for this one. There's nothing on top of the screen. I'm so sorry. Hey, there we go. <laughs> thank you, Star. Thank you, thank you, Burst. <laughs> you guys just aren't tracking the score yourselves? Listen, I'm not used to doing this shit on Sunday, all right? My my uh, my uh production skills are a little bit lower today. <laughs> nah, we don't need it. Nice stuff coming in from JP. <laughs> oh, good block. Not quite getting the punish from the TK. A little trade. Try to get a greedy 2H there. There we go. Dealing with the Eno pressure. Trying to find a spot to find a mash. This is scary. This is potentially match point for Mink. If they can clutch up here, but has to deal with this Eno pressure. Oh no. Another reset. The note does land, but you find a reversal here. Are you safe? No. Hit a button. I think that might have been like an empty low attempt or maybe an empty grab. Oh. Block it. Okay, we're good. Decent amount of chip, though. Oh. Good stuff coming in. JP tying it up, bringing us to another game five. You headcanon me with a heart palpitation? You know I actually have a heart palpitation, right? Jack, Jack is the... Uh... <laughs> this yeah. isn't canon. It's canon. I'll just be looking for chances to type. <laughs> uh, oh no. Who, who has Peepo type ready? I need it right Peepo now. Type. It's got to be someone on Twitter who I can subscribe to who has Peepo type ready to go. <laughs> the thing I know is Eno has never broken a guitar. So true, Mink. Yeah, I'm running on a lot of coffee right now, so that's probably a factor. I <laughs> named my rival in Pokemon Peepo because he'd be talking. Damn. Want a Sprite Cranberry. All right, getting back into it. Game five between the Eno and the Nago. Potentially a pivotal game for the OEG squad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mink needs to clutch this up, which is so scary because I feel like this is maybe the most snowball-y matchup in Strive I've ever seen. Yeah, I definitely think it could be. <laughs> And so it's like, if you, you know, if you stumble early on, that can be such a huge blow to your mental in such a pivotal situation as this. One fight is $2,000 at Guitar Center. <laughs> so true. I, 
I don't know what that means. Oh, the yeah, you know, okay. <laughs> you know, breaking guitars. I think is what they're talking about. That's pretty good. Rival P focus. Oh, okay, we're getting into game five now. Overlay is overlaid. Mankind knew that they cannot change. Eight. We're gonna see so instead of what adaptation both themselves. these players are bringing in at this point. This is this is the the maximum mental stack game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who who can stay calm, basically? Yep. Doing the intros again, probably just to let them both collect themselves. Get that. Give us give us the lore matchup a little bit. Oh yeah, this is sort of something that happened in this drive story mode, maybe. Yeah, it's sort of maybe kind of all everything's a lore matchup. <laughs> we all know Guilty Gear lore, right? Yeah, we are all very. Very adept at Guilty Gear lore in general. Feels like this round start is very lore accurate. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> Early burst. Oh, I B on the Beyblade. Oh, no. You might think low hitting Beyblade was a mistake, but Nago did it in story mode, so. Yeah, so true. <laughs> you just have to keep the cannon. Good patience by JP. And some of that Nago counterplay, waiting for the record to finish up. Yeah, this is the exact start we were talking about. Although, a little delayed on the jump, but it's not going to matter here. Son. JP now bringing us to match point, potentially against its mink. I keep wondering if we're ever going to see White Wild Assault from uh, mink on round start. Yeah, I don't think that we are. I don't know. It seems like mink is just not... Not particularly used to using the White Wild Assault on the RPS. Nice hit on the close oh my god there. Incredible hit. Lots of blood being built up, but we're going to be getting some of it back with this super. I think we're going to be at least preventing ourselves from popping. Yeah, still pretty comfortable for uh, JP. Ooh. Especially nice. now. Yep, going to have to deal with this pressure a little bit longer. You have YRC, you do have the Deflect Shield, there's the super calling out uh, the new move again. Yeah. I have no idea how you're recognizing this so quickly. <laughs> I keep thinking it's Hover Dash every time. I'm I'm deciding after the supers are, so you gotta ask it to think about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm deciding in the super flash which move is. <laughs> That's when my brain catches up. We got a game five, final round, nice back dash. Great back Ink dash. has not been using the command grab super often now. But JP really on top of it there. Oh no! Oh, that's huge. <laughs> Go but... ahead and spend the other fifty percent of the, the burst. Go. Oh, trying to find something just bursting out. hundred percent meter, catching on the close slash, but no conversion. The reversal hits. Plus frames. Oh no! Yeah, you with should be meter. dead here. I think Especially with wild in. assault. Yeah. Nicely done. That's JP going up five, three to two, rather. Absolutely. Very close huge. setup. That is it's Mink going down for the event. Yeah, oh, OEG oh, in a little bit of trouble now. Uh, definitely. Definitely uh, something to worry about at the moment. They're going to be throwing Cotter in. Alrighty. Let's go, Cotter. <laughs> to counter face. <laughs> Very nicely done. I feel like Axel doesn't like playing against any of these characters, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing that... Alright, alright, Burst, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we should okay. make HC curse. Why, are, <laughs> why, why, do we, why do we let Happy Chaos players speak, like, ever? Listen, Happy Chaos players got to be able to speak. Otherwise, they can't be lovable, which is the only redeeming thing about the Happy Chaos. Not super surprised at this. I know that uh, Max has been grinding it out with uh, with Jaboss a lot, learning a lot about the Axel matchup, and came into this feeling very confident specifically about this matchup. Yeah, I guess we'll get to see if it pays off then. Yeah, I don't know how much experience Cotter has fighting Sin, especially 
recently, but I think I think she may have fought against Izzy at some point recently. There. Yeah, Izzy's always always available for hands for sure. No running that pressure. Cotter is a very, very patient, no when to mash kind of player, playing that Apex music as well. Oh my god, what an interaction. Oh, the bottom oh. loop, unfortunately. No. Max throw and the overhead's down and just immediately confirming into that super. Yeah, good oh. way to deal with Axel 2k. It's oh yeah, that was going to be death, death probably. There we go. I got you. <laughs> Fuck it, we caught. So true. Oh yeah. She's cutting all over the place right now. <laughs> so true. Oh, oh the trade look. combo too. Yeah, I love that trade combo. Really good stuff. Let's see, seeing a lot of very similar stuff that we saw from the Rin matchup here. A little 2K2D. Bursting aggressively, but the DP comes out for Max. Wild Assault after the plus frames be even more plus. That's a huge counter hit. You're just dead. Yeah, and that's, this is the, like, Sin player combos we were talking about. Like, if you picked up Sin a month ago, you don't have that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you don't have this little dash up either. Max is a huge fan of the safe jabs in the dash up mind game. Very nicely done. That was a... <laughs> I, I, I said you're just dead jokingly, but it was almost true. <laughs> Sin players have one combo. How That's about you true. get one B and B for Happy Chaos? You just saw a not the one Sin player. I have one combo on Sin. <laughs> Did you not watch any of that set? <laughs> I want Zappa and Elfel. It's gonna be Abba. I'm sorry, but it's it's her time. In the second game, Pixelated Max looking. Looking about as confident as uh, as they sound like they were, you know. It they they were talking a lot. They had spent a lot of last night grinding out some of the Axel matchup, and they did a little bit of side lesson. Already quitting for MJ one. Yeah, but you can see Cotter is starting to already make these adjustments, and it's really hard for Max to get in on her. Oh, and great burst bait too. Yeah, really, really solid burst bait. Calling out the uh, off of the RC. Yeah, I think Cotter is just a generally a strong player overall, but when she really starts feeling herself in neutral with the zoning, it's so hard to get in on her. Absolutely. Oh, I like the hoof stomp. A little bit of advancing on the norm on the special there. Really good defense, but unfortunately getting stuffed again on the approach. The JK does connect. And this is exactly what you're looking for. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, Axel, wake Excuse up me? Axel Bomber. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I guess it beats throw. There you go, <laughs> you know? Sometimes. Sometimes the goofiest option is the best option. Throwing some of that stagger pressure in there. Nicely oh, yeah. done, beating the throw with the overhead. 2K2D clashing. Actually, I actually look like God a little bit faster on that one. Yeah, Cotter really likes to do defensive throw and defensive 2K, and I think Max has kind of realized that uh, Hoofstomp kind of beats both those options really cleanly. Yeah. On top of just being, you know, an overhead. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, trying to get the BRC rocket in, and Connor takes the round. Connor takes the game, actually. Connor's him. <laughs> She's him? She's <laughs> him. <laughs> Connor's new pronouns, that guy. Apparently. Very nicely done so far, though. Tying it up 1-1. One, one. Connor with some good adaptations. She's him. They, they must yeah, I had a stroke trying to read that, too. The way they for Cotter a sheet. Uh, okay, Mari, you're going to have to put that one back in the oven just for a little bit. It's almost there. It really is. <laughs> the vision is there. <laughs> the vision Execution is there. needs a little work. <laughs> so you're earning an early burst out from Pixelated Max. Nice. Just a 2D there. I kind of an odd counter hit to convert off of. What the hell was that sick throw? Yeah, very scary stuff. Because it was running, running that Elkhunt pressure. 
Yeah, great awareness from Cotter. Cotter just the runs. Tunes run. <laughs> just runs the other side of the screen. He's like, yeah, this is, I'm a zoner. This is what I do. Gooby doo ass tactics over here. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> Go. Nice mash on the 2k. Wow. In oh, barely got clipped. Oh my he goodness. Should be dead. Yeah. Just locking in on the approach vectors that Max is pulling out. This is the this is the axle uh this is the axle kind of adaptations I always talk about. You know? This is Dark Cotter at the wheel right now. This, this is a very much Dark Cotter at the wheel. There you go. Full screen zoning, getting started here, pulling in, just bursting an interesting oh my option God. off of that. You know, I mean, he was, I it is a new option, so... <laughs> I mean, the last two times he's blocked that, he's ended up in the corner, so I kind of understand it. Nice DP here. Man, oh God, he mashed just, on that? That's yeah, crazy. He mashed it on plus frames. Sin 6k is just not plus. I'm refused. People tell me it's plus, they're lying. Oh, no. You're in such a rough situation, and that is... A, another kill, another game over to Cotter here. Mm -hmm. Hooking it yeah. up a little bit. She's looking so strong right now. Uh, absolutely. Owning? <laughs> In my guilty gear? Up it's so okay, he's, he's not a good character. <laughs> Max is going to have to make some adaptations for sure to make this happen. Cotter has really, really locked in on some of the habits and finding some of those mash spots that you don't really expect. Oh, there was one point where she 2K'd because I think Max did like, uh, I don't even remember, I think it was uh, Elk Hunt and didn't have a stamina bar and Cotter immediately realized and was just like, okay, 2K, 2D, I'm out. Yep, 2K, 2D, and it was DM really out. impressive awareness. Cotter currently up 2-1, trying to get a 6P round start. Go. Oh my god, what a catch. Only minus two. And you have no burst now. So yeah. That's the one good burst change from uh, from last season. This gold burst actually uses all your burst now. Yeah, absolutely. And we now you just kind of... Now you kind of just slowly die to Axel is the problem. Yeah. Or quickly die. Or quickly die with a perfect coming in from Cotter as well. Hooking it up a little bit more here. See if Max can find some new answers. Really, really having a hard time getting in. A big counter hit again. You're back at full screen having to deal with these pressure options. Nice TP I, there. I love how Cotter has also just realized that Max is respecting her pre her uh, zoning a lot more and has started like running up and running pressure as a response to that. Yep, absolutely. Here's a 2K. I think you are going to be getting hit here. Cotter so on top of the gaps and the pressure here. I mean, Sin does have so many gaps. It's all frame traps all the way down, so really unfortunate clash on the 2K there. The Axel 2K oh, is you're... going so hard. You're so close. You need to hit something here. Oh, this is terrifying. Yep, you land it yeah. and you get the red RC and we don't drop these. Nicely done. Sin jump scare. <laughs> Alrighty. I never noticed Axel has three zippers on his shirt before. He has three zippers, about a hundred belts. It's all great. Hello, Meta. Thank you for redeeming the hydrate for yourself. So nicely done. Straight into the tired rave. Lots That's of a lot of fish. Max has found some of the adjustments here, finding some of those faster buttons and catching Cotter on the defensive going to be bringing us to a game five. Got to dial it in to close out a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And that was, you know, that was so close to going the other way too. But Max, good resiliency to just kind of focus up and be like, I got this. I can, I can get in on this Axel. And it's, it's so hard sometimes because Axel is one of those characters who you just, you don't realize you're dying until you look at your health bar 20 seconds in and you're like, wait, I'm at 30% health. When did this happen? Yeah. So... Being able to play against that and keep your composure is a really important skill to have. And Max is really demonstrating that super well right now. Yeah, I think the keeping the mental is so important in the uh, Axel matchup, which is why I always lose the Axel matchup. Just, it's not because yeah, my characters too. lose the matchup, I just personally lose the matchup. 
Yeah, I despise playing against Axel on any character, but... Nice, there's the command grabs coming in. Probably gonna be seeing a couple more of those. Getting the high landing. At RC, DPing out from Max. Yeah, nice delay DP too. There's a good confirm from Max, finding the American reset as well. And another counter hit off of the follow-up. Going for a reset here. The wall is staying so healthy right now. Yeah, you got you got your counter. Oh, that did not catch. Very nice. You get a full confirm. Didn't quite confirm it. Oh, no, oh. the reversal. Oh, she bets it all. No. I can't believe that didn't kill. I just gotta stop being so close. So true. There we go. Nice start here from Max. Has to make something happen because it is Cotter's uh, final match potentially. There's another tick throw. Going for the overhead into the tyrant barrel, and you're just dead. Why does Sin get to do full damage on that still? <laughs> What's so special Help. about him? <laughs> uh, there is no health. Gold burst from Cotter. This is a scary situation to be in for sure. Connor does love hitting that 2k button after the pull in. Nice pickup and finds a full conversion. You oh my actually God. hit that? That's insane. That is oh my, my fucking goat. Max pixelated. Ah, uh, but now you're about to get zoned again. Yeah, you are You are in the axle blender now for a little bit. There's that 100 meter gone. You gotta just throw. Run up and in. throw. Love it. YRC though, I'm just bursting the YRC, but we DP right back. We got, we all got options here. Oh no, oh the God, clash! A, these mashes have been crazy. Okay, here we go. Oh no! Oh, I like the idea. Potter hasn't really represented throw there before. Max oh, finds yeah. the block here, very nicely done, and gets the punish. What an incredible match. Max finally pulling it together, very nicely done. Whew. Yeah. Oh, connection. I mean, that was so close so much. That was one of those games that really just... That whole set could have gone either way so many times. Yeah. Two that very is closely matched players. Potter going down. Potter will be going out for the duration of the rest of the thing. You did godlike Cotter indeed. Cotter did so good. Oh, she did, yeah. Goat more like. And now it is an opportunity for Narwhal to get a little counter pick in. Could potentially try to send the breakfast burrito in again because they have the access to their full roster currently apart from the cotter you'll see this is the risk of sending uh one of the players like pixelated mask in or pixelated max in on a on a match like this is they always have that breakfast burrito sitting in the back the person who knocked you out last time yeah, he's kind of like the elephant in the room right now. Like, eventually, OEG needs to deal with Breakfast Burrito. Yep. And not not to say the rest of the team isn't also monsters, but... For sure. I feel like Burrito definitely is kind of sitting on his throne in the back, just waiting. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle the weird out of context, man. Okay, alright, let's... What does that mean? Let's... I can players just say whatever they want, huh? Listen, no, br br Burst is posting all of the crazy Cotter posts, uh, 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 quotes in the, in the, uh, team battle chat. They're gonna be sending Oh, yeah, Cotter. wait, no, I just saw it. I've, I've had to delete the last three, because <laughs> they've, they've uh, gotten damn. a little bit extra unhinged. You should, uh, you should give me mod privileges for, like, an hour, just so I can take a look at them. <laughs> worry, I promise I won't first, do anything bad with First them. has them all unlocked. <laughs> yeah, true. I'll just message first later. They are indeed sending in the Mari. <laughs> Send more. Oh no. Please no. Uh, we've got Sky Metro coming in against Pixelated Max. Hey, hey, listen. You still gotta be respecting the Discord rules, alright? We do have miners in the Discord. Don't get too spicy in there. I'm watching you first. Nice little. Yeah, confirm. this. This is a matchup Sin players really did not like last season, but I think Sin is a clear winner, while Bridget probably is mostly the same, if not maybe a little weaker, so... Yeah. I don't I know how it pans see. out now. Ooh, finding the bait and the burst bait as well. Put the burst in the back. Really good start. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, what a backdash. Oh, yeah, that's hard to punish. Actually, the, the delay on the follow-up there. The second hit. Nicely done. Another fast confirm. My god, the damage. <laughs> Why does, why does Sin get to keep doing Season 2 damage? That's crazy. 2K2D is going to have a big old grin on Sin's face there in the 2D animation. Pixelated Max takes the first game. That's what I'm saying. That is some damage. I'm just saying it only seems fair that Ram should keep her damage too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm sorry, but you have to do that. I mean, listen, Ram, Ram Super always didn't, like, it did all the damage that it does because it's a bunch of one damage. Right? I'm sure Ram still got some pretty. Oh, yeah, it's it's still pretty <laughs> insane. <laughs> it's definitely worse, but it's it's still pretty crazy. I think everyone just lied about how bad he was last match. I think that they're kind of spitting that, you know? <laughs> I <laughs> never thought Sin was actually that bad. <laughs> But the Sin players the, hated me for it, so I just kept quiet. The Sin players had to, did have to cook very hard. They needed the QLL. Look, look, man. All I know is the Sin players were putting themselves in the same tier as Potemkin and Bedman. I don't know if I can agree with that. Yeah, the Bedman players were very graceful in their uh, in their defeat. <laughs> nice confirm again into the Tyrant Barrel, ranking out that damage. Sin's got their sugar water, cranking 90s on them. Yeah. Oh man, the clash cancels have been going into Max's favor almost every time. Yeah, and it looks like neutral is being a little, little bit of a struggle for Sky Metro right now. A little pogo. Oh, going for the fuzzy in. though. RC. Oh, why RC coming oh, out? Oh yeah, that is very difficult point to RC. Here we go, though. We're in one interaction for either player to uh, get the kill here. I see coming in from Mari. Nice. Oh, nice pick up with the two us. Yep. Mari, once Yo. she starts getting the momentum, we saw it happen last time. Mari can really run away with the game when she started getting, uh, getting oh, her she got the, She got the good 5H conversion. You'll love to see it. And I like what she's doing now, because this is really, this is a matchup where you can kind of just, like, force Sin to approach you if you're willing to just play patient and set the yo-yo. So I think that's kind of, she's trying to adapt to that game plan, which is really good to see. Oh, and this is a huge combo. Yep. Big back throw incident, though. Yeah, that's oh, unfortunate. In the classic, we've seen this to finish the match so many times already. Play Max going up 2-0 right now. What do you mean stuck in Season 2? He gets to be in Season 2. He's loving it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Season 2 supers and Season is, 3 buttons. This is how Sin just should have released, honestly. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I don't know about that. Gonna <laughs> chain him to the bottom of a pool of sugar water. Oh no, come on. Sin's cool, smiley face. I don't know about that one. Getting back into it. So 2-0 for Max right now. And yeah, just a lot of stray hits. Not a lot of big things happening, but looks like a good opportunity for Max. Yeah, both of them doing a lot of burst baiting here, but neither of them really biting on it. Here we go. Yeah, that's a safe jump, but difficult to punish. You need to know that you have to do the close slash as he goes up. Otherwise, you are just going to get uh, RPSed out if he has stamina. Yeah. But not an easy thing to be aware of and actually implement in a real match. Then has got some Luffy in it. Exactly. Oh, the fake Oki to get the big counter hit. Breaking out some damage as well. Pixelate <laughs> Max to the goat. I'm just a hater. It's fair. It's uh, it's it's understandable. Kel, you've earned being a hater, honestly. If anyone's allowed to be a hater, it's well, Red RC. Bank oh blocks yeah. The first easy little checkmate coming in. Max 3-0. putting us back on the board once again. 
Yeah, Max just looking very clean. Also very... I think this... Max specifically, I think, really hates the Bridget matchup. So it's a matchup he's put a lot of work into. Yeah. I, I've seen some of his salt posts in uh, <laughs> OEG. Absolutely. Uh, now, we are in at Rin. You announce your player. Star wall can counter. Star wall, it does have an opportunity to get a little counter pick in, choosing between Rinji, Rogis, and Rin themselves. Yeah, down to three, and then they can't they can't send in Sky Metro again, right? They gotta right. send in someone else. Yep, Sky yeah. Metro and Max are both gonna be on the bench for the time being until we get another rotation. Yeah, I don't know who you want to send in. I guess it kind of depends on who they choose, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really have anything to say. I thought I did, but I don't. So now I'm just talking. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Send in Nubenheimer? Dude. The Nubenheimer, so true. Just call him up. <laughs> I mean, if Burst was... I, I wouldn't be honestly that surprised if Burst just pulled up and was like, yeah, Nubenheimer agreed. <laughs> you know, I mean, honestly, get a little bit of the... All right, we're going to be sending in Rogis. Rogis All right, so Rogis going in. I'm going to go ahead and call it right now. We got first Dragon versus Rogis. Oh, yeah, I'm going in. This is burst. Yep, I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> is there some history here? Or... Uh, burst had gone down to Rogis in the spider bracket. Oh, right. Um, yeah. And I think it has played Rogis a handful of times in like FNF &F and some other situations as well. Hardcore censorship over here. Y'all better behave, all right? Just because we're in a thread doesn't mean we're not in the Disney. Just be normal. Just be normal. Stop talking about piss and gastric Please. reflux and everything like that. Okay, hold on. That's or not a little personal. Uh, we can talk about gastric reflux. It's fine. I don't think we should. <laughs> not a little defensive there. Like somebody who has some... Uh... I'm getting accused of things by some random in the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who plays three bottom tiers. True. I shouldn't have mentioned piss. I forgot. <laughs> forgot who, who we were no, talking to. No, I forgot the people that the not. audience. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know. The resets, the resets. Got this is the real commentator's to curse. Rogis to get you. <laughs> Thank you for the posture check. Full posture check never hurt nobody. I need that to just be like something on my computer oh, that just pops up like every 15 minutes. Hold on, I can turn myself up. I got plenty of range. How about that? To be a little better now. Yeah, you sound louder to me, so. Perfect. Right. Yeah, posture there. timer. She has entered the I've, room. I've had this idea for like eight years, and I've just never done anything with it. Pretty good. I like it. And it literally is just setting an alarm on my phone, and I just have never done it. Where the fuck is my redeem a compliment? I had to turn my stuff off for bracket purposes. I keep forgetting to turn it back on. We also, knew you were going to be in the chat, and that's just awesome. not one that can be done. You're so great. Great and cool. All right, we got first dragon. Oh, the reward is gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we got Rogis versus Burst Dragon. Rogis rock in that OEG skin, of course. Oh, nice first, first is mad. <laughs> you can tell when he starts doing those two, uh, J2Ks. That's how you know the Burst oh, yeah. is. Uh, what a back. Burst is playing a little mad about this. 
Oh, the deflect shield trying to come out. Please, someone tell Rogis to stop deflect shielding. Oh, no. Rogis trying to find some backdash answers. <laughs> First, oh, my god, we are spending all our meter to get out of pressure on both sides. Yeah, absolutely. Nice air stalls coming in from both players. Hello, Riot. How's it going? How's it going? Good confirm from Burst Dragon taking the first stock against Rogis. Yeah, and he, I mean, I kind of get it, though. You don't really want to play footsies with Mei, because if you're wrong, yep. you, you're wrong you actually just die. <laughs> yeah. well, nice 5 for the anti here. Oh my god. Yeah, just almost dying on his own pressure, even. Yep. Danger and danger! Yeah. There we go! This is a burst dragon round. <laughs> it absolutely is. Happens every time. No counter hit coming through. Nice. Extra negative on that. Oh no, you can't hit fireballs oh, yeah, in Burst Dragon's face. So he doesn't DP, but he, he does. does do that. Yeah, he absolutely does do that. Get hit a little bit up on the safe jump. Nice wait patience for the bur for the uh burst there. He's trying to find some of those big hits. The 2K2D meter as well available for the confirm. Oh, drop the combo though. Oh, really unfortunate drop. It has to block this mix. Nice, the JH does connect. That is Burst Dragon taking the first round against Rogis. Yeah, looking a little bit scrambly there, but Burst was able to uh, to reset just enough times to be able to close it out. Absolutely. And that JH, Chip JH is, I think, a sleeper contender for one of the best buttons in the game. It's actually oh, it's so, so fucking hard to deal with. I think it got a little worse in Season 3, if I remember correctly, but... Mm. Potentially, yeah. I mean, I think Chip JH is... It's a very sauced uh, button. It catches almost every one of Testament's round start options. <laughs> yeah, I I literally went out of Evo to a guy who realized that Bridget doesn't have an answer to JH. And that was, <laughs> then he just started just spamming JH at me, and I was like, well... Tragic. Here we go. Landing the J2K. A little bit of stagger pressure. Nice, the 5Ps are coming in. The classic. Trying to get the Wall Assault in the neutral. Nice command grab coming in from Burst Dragon. Oh, expecting maybe Dolphin or something. But I mean, he has so much meter. Oh, the JH connects! That's crazy. Into the wreck of pressure, and the overhead does land. Burst Dragon taking another stock here. Yeah, 100 meter. Might as well just send it. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, oh going God. for the jump gets a throw. That was a that was a little bit of mix. We're just doing five feet this time instead. <laughs> yeah, we really haven't seen very much uh, with dolphin stuff from Rugis so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw well, it with dolphin, a couple but... of times. The uh, I know Rugis hasn't been playing a ton of Strive, so it's definitely understandable. Still trying to figure out the new mechanic a little bit. Yeah, I think everyone at this point has like some mechanics they're very comfortable with and some they just have not put any time into whatsoever. Oh, nice. Good little mash out from Rogis. All oh, just barely misses on the confirm there. This is a scary situation to be in. Yeah, that yeah. real fast 5P coming out. Burst Dragon going up 2-0. Yeah, Dolphin RPS, notably one of the big changes for May in that she's now, she gets left a lot closer to you. So for Chip, who has a three frame 5P, that's, I mean, you just don't have to respect it at all. <laughs> you can just mash that button. Yeah, absolutely. Going into game three now. First with the super input. <laughs> That's all it was. Don't worry about it. First dragon moment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice first bait there on the safe jump. Really clean, comboing into the wall as well. Basically the best possible start you can get is Chip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, he's so, feeling himself. Yeah, feels of a little bit. Good stuff. Now a perfect leading to match points here. Whoa, oh, nice bro. response. Punish, too. I actually did not know you could punish it like that. 
<laughs> I'm telling you. Oh yeah, if you've never seen Burst play when he's mad before, yeah. um, nice. You'll know. Hawaii you know it. The chip players, man, so true. Nice. The J2K does connect. All oh, tries to make the. The flex shield work again, and the super Zanzei Royal this literally kill. does zero damage. It does right. kill. Nicely done. That is Rogis going down here. Things looking a little dire for OEG right now. Absolutely. Currently, three remain. Rinchi and Rin are the two available players. Rin is going in. That's what's nice. up. Confident that they can take a re the stock off of Burst Dragon. Still has to deal with the uh, Breakfast Burrito and JP. Very, very scary players. Sky Metro also still in. We're going to be seeing, seeing what our players can cook up here. Yeah, it's definitely an uphill battle, but I mean, everyone on the OAG team has shown that they're capable of doing it. Oh yeah. We've just we've had so many close sets. So I, I feel like there's like three or four moments where this these scores could honestly just be completely reversed. Oh yeah, for sure. That's that's the beauty of it. It has been very, very close. People getting their money's worth. But uh, as a narwhal supporter, I'm pretty happy with how it's playing out so far. For sure, for sure. Narwhal fans definitely thriving right now. Where else will I find people to make side bets with me? <laughs> we got some Rin equals win in the chat. My names are incorrect. Sorry, let me turn those back off. Yeah, I think Rin so far has shown they have a pretty solid play style. So I'm, I think if Burst continues to try to play kind of like the disrespectful style that he has when he's mad, it might be a little rough against someone like Rin. Yeah. I mean, Burst definitely capable of uh, of tightening it back up. He had a little bit of thing, a little bit to prove there in the Rogue East match. Oh, trying to backdash on the clone. Looking good though so far. Yeah, Burst doing really well in the pressure here. Oh no, the oh, Burst, no. nice, good alteration of the pressure sequence from Burst Dragon there. The DP does get punished out. That's a scary situation to be in. We are seeing just to be able to get the Oki off of that. There's the cross up. There's the command throw. Nice. Yeah, done. it's uh, if you see Alpha Blade from Burst, it's there's there's more coming. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's a JH, a full confirm as well. Trying to get that 5K. Burst getting caught up on the uh, dash blocks a little bit here as well. Paraclot, another one. The Wildest Call actually oh is going to be enough to damage and a perfect coming out from Red playing nice and fast here. Yeah, I'm I'm shocked that that just killed. Yeah, I think I don't think Red expected it. Otherwise, it probably would have just been another Dire Clot instead of uh, mm. Wild Assault. Oh, nice. Ooh, what a shimmy. Yeah, Rin trying to get the throw, but Burst actually just able to get the throw instead. Some, some Burst's in cooking something here. Yeah, definitely something getting cooked up. There we go. Nice DP. Blender time indeed. The DP comes out again, but Red Art, Red RC to take your turn back. Yeah, Rin making some really strong attempts to get out, but Burst's defense was just on point. Yep. And yet, a far slash button is putting in a little bit of work for Rin here. We are gonna need to find a burst here somewhere. There it is. Ah, uh, yeah, the stun dipper. Rin is gonna be taking the first match there. Nicely done. With that stun dipper and the I mean the neutral from the Kai with the far slashes and the stun dippers, definitely cooking it up. Yeah, I love the way that Rin has really represented a lot of retreating JS as a way to just wall out people throughout this whole um crew battle. Yeah. And you know, when Burst starts to get antsy and starts to want to get in, I mean Rin can just be like, alright, well, I have a disjoint that's like frame seven, so have fun. Yeah. Ends up in Stun Dipper. <laughs> it was like one of the most hype matches I've ever seen, and it's not top level. It ends in Stun Dipper RC. That's how we do it. That's that's top level guy. Oh no, the R. The I don't know what you're talking RPS. about. This is top level play if I've ever seen it. The block gold burst and the nine frame far slash getting a counter hit. That's beauty right there. And catching the back dash. I think you're just dead here, aren't you? Yeah, you're just dead. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> With the RC 6K. 
Good combo routing there from Rin. Yeah, I love seeing those fast RC routes where it's just like, you know, it's not super impressive, but it just shows that you know what you're doing. Ooh, spacing. The command grab. And then you always get the cross up after for sure. Mm -hmm. Nice. Just kind of whiffing buttons at each other. Oh, great 6P though. And now you just gotta hold all this. Damn. Rin. Just walks all the way back and then runs all yep. the way back in. I like it. Rin calling out first is just choosing to de down block, be the down block king, and instead just getting the run up grab. Technically unreactable. There's the RC after the stun dipper. Look at all the back dashes. Finally getting one of them punished. Are we dead? Yes, you find the maximized damage. Yeah, that was. I, I think Rin really picked up on the fact that Burst does not like to approach if he doesn't have to. And that was really biting him um, when he was in the corner because, you know, against Kai, you need to dash block out. You just. There's, if you just wait there, he's just going to run back and start doing pressure again. So. Yeah, and I think that Rin has a lot of really good uh, really good routes in the pressure that are calling out some of uh, some of Burst kind of mashing right options, you know? Like, getting some of, yeah. these, some of these some niche kind of far slashes in there, they're just getting these huge counter hits in the corner. Yeah, you can tell Rin's put a lot of thought into how he runs his pressure. Mm -hmm. But J2K. do you have an answer for J2K? Uh, you know. Oh, I love that. Actually got the JS. Uh, missed the timing a little bit, but that would have been a huge punish. There's my P. The whiff. And how are you in danger? <laughs> right. <laughs> Burst is backdash. You don't see it because it's so fast, but Burst is just constantly backdash. You can Brother, literally I'm... put a counter on stream. <laughs> I'm One. begging you to approach. <laughs> right. One, two. A little bit more noticeable when the guy yells danger literally every time Burst backdashes. The DP. Uh, we saw that exact interaction last time. <laughs> yep. Oh, and the far slash counter hit. Another danger. Every backdash is getting hit with danger. There's a wild assault. What a confirm. Just landing a whiff punish far slash into the wild assault confirm. Oh, yeah, Rin is ready for it. I can't believe Bridget players got so much shit for backdashing. <laughs> Burst, Burst is struggling right now. What a nice combo. That was a unique combo coming out from the Kai as well. Bursting out. This is Burst's last opportunity to make something happen. We're plus on that. You're not mashing yet. No, oh, no. Goes for the whip. 2H again. Oh, no. Drops drop, a combo, though. Fire C. This is your opportunity. Rekka. Yeah. KS far slash. This is Hard the breakfast burrito out. neutral. <laughs> Bro literally jumped with seven and got dangerous. Mechanic sucks. He <laughs> backdashed like 13 times. He did backdash like 13 times. And that is the. These are the consequences of his actions. That is the team captain taking out the team captain. Rin is going to stay in for the time being. They have a choice between Breakfast Burrito, JP, and Sky Metro. Oh, pardon me, not Sky Metro. Sky Metro is still on the bench. So it's a choice between Breakfast Burrito and JP to send in. Very nicely done. Great matches there, honestly. It's auditory cancer. It's kind of like ASMR, honestly. It's kind Danger. of a nice voice. Danger. Danger. <laughs> it's like that guy at the stopwatch going, wait, wait. <laughs> it's so funny to think of in the context of Strive, too, as you're just staring down at like this blue man pointing a gun at you, and this guy's like, by the way, you're in danger. And it's like, thank you. <laughs> exactly. I have no idea. Speaking of some breakfast burrito oh. pressure, we got burrito in on the biking as well. Ooh. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense because he hates Kai. He, he just, it, I think it might be his least favorite matchup, and I don't think he wants to do that on Johnny, especially since Johnny might struggle a little bit with dealing with Stun Edge. Mm -hmm. I could definitely see that. Oh, the six feet! We got the biking meme, the frame one of biking being on the screen. Here we go. We we're trying to match the far slashes here, but unfortunately, Kai's just won out by a little bit. JS does connect here. Yeah, this is rough, too, because I don't think he's played very much Biken recently, and Biken is another character who's kind of around the same place power-wise, while Kai kind of shot up a little bit, so... If you didn't like this matchup before, I'm not sure you're going to like it too much now. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah, not sure how much Burrito has been playing the bike and by no Burrito. Oh, what a stun dipper. And a Gleam combo as well. Almost finds a pickup. A little bit too fast for their own good. Gets a huge counter hit on the Tatami mat with a lot of meter left over as well. Going for the resets. TK was on and gets blocked out. The RC into Ooh. the low. It drops oh, a combo. Doesn't quite connect though. The 6P finds it. Woo, what a match. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Going for the throw after the Fujra arc, but Burrito is already back dashed. I love the side swap setup, too, just to get the corner. Yes. Good stuff. Interesting choice for the gun. Oh, the safe jump. Nice, RC. A little SDP moment. Definitely at a big disadvantage right now. Yeah, it's kind of questionable. Like, what is Burrito actually going to use this meter for? Yeah. The answer is going to run some pressure. Get, 100 get meter in full burst in that situation. Uh, it would be quite a fumble to have to drop that match. Uh, Rin having to burst right away here. Nice far slash moment. Getting the cross up. Oh, Rin getting caught on the Tommy map again. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate when the Tommy does that. Oh, oh my god, I thought Viking got yeah. the throw there. <laughs> no, great run from Rin. Nicely oh, done, waiting out the parry. I like... Not quite close enough. Yeah, I mean, that was a really, really good, uh, really good RC from Burrito. Rin had RC'd their 6P into a better punish option. Mm -hmm. That, that is yeah. probably one of the ballsiest RCs from Rin that I have ever seen. You have a 6P that you know is going to hit, and you RC to get the 2H, which is just a bigger damage punish. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of smart. This guy just got sold. Yeah, that YRC callout is rough. Skullgirls players. <laughs> Hashtag play Skullgirls. Play Skullgirls. I, I think that's probably what's going through Burrito's mind right now. <laughs> I could be playing Skullgirls. Yo. JS, nice. JS. The the error fighter pilot wars. I cannot believe you just hit that far slash. Yeah, he definitely still has these down. Oh yeah. Man, Interesting route with the JK. Ooh. Good stuff. Trying to get the plus frames if the wire C does come out. Burrito has a good lead on this round, but a burst bait here could spell doom. Hard yeah, I think down. it was a smart choice not to burst there. You got a hundred meter, and you're playing Biken. Oh my wake god, up wake close up close slash. slash. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Remember, Burrito's the sane Biken player. <laughs> He's not one of those tower psychos. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> nice. Good clean combos here from Rin. Oh, oh catches the 5 p match, actually. Yeah, I was honestly kind of surprised by that. Oh, no, the DP! Oh, great pickup, though. That's a hard situation to get a punish in. Nice burst. Oh, excuse me. That was an interesting RC into the Fudra arc. I'm learning so much about the game in this set. Absolutely. So many interactions I've just never seen before. Yeah, Burrito was waiting for that. Yep. Knew the Sundipper RC was coming. Oh no, finds a 2K2D. No confirm the tap dust after. Nicely done. Yeah. Guys 5K. Kind of a sleeper button. Really, really strong. Yeah, absolutely. Go. Just a oh clean little round start wall break. Yeah, you know, nothing happens. It's a clean 50%. It's okay though, Biken has good guts, what so she's, she's fine now. There we go, Rin finally finding the DP timing for that Tommy Matt, and finding a red RC as well. Not quite dead. <laughs> there we go, oh. another DP coming out. We're hitting the funny button a little bit. Big bro Rin is here to save the day. Going up 2-0 so far on the breakfast burrito yeah this is 
I mean, they're both playing really well, but Rin is just seems like he has the upper hand in a lot of these interactions and is willing to represent stuff like DP and Fuji arc, whereas Brito, it seems, is playing a little bit safer yeah. and not going for stuff like Perry or Super. And yeah, okay, we're seeing a Johnny come out. Yeah, I, I figured it was Johnny time. Some Kyle gaming for sure. Yeah, Gonna I think it's a good back. decision. Yeah, You've I think got... so you got another life, so you might as well try the Johnny in case, you know, you end up needing to fight Rin again so you can see who did better. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of kind of testing the waters a little bit. Yeah. Rin, a little bit more experience in the Johnny matchup, for sure. Has played a little bit of Johnny themselves. Oh, the oh yeah, and this does look about as miserable as I thought it might. <laughs> Big counter hit, trying to find that mash opportunity. Oh, it's just star charge stun edge into a PRC charge stun edge. I love it. Do stun oh, hipper under, under there. Finer. Oh, no. oh, I hate that. This is even worse than the Testament Kyle matchup. A nice confirm here, though, from Burrito. Burrito still looking solid. Nice back dash from Rin on the safe jump. Stun dipper. Ah, under no the red Maximizing the damage for the combo a little bit. We're going to at least be getting the hard knockdown. No kill quite yet. Johnny does have a really fast reversal, so you can't necessarily get away with the uh, save jab on I'm not sure. Oh, what a mix. Oh, you have those? Overhead. Oh, what a backdash into the bar slash. Nicely done. Burrito taking the first stock. Yeah, he just, he seems a lot more comfortable on Johnny, so like, he's still playing to his strengths in a similar way, but yep. just without the added, just like, mental baggage of trying to pick up Biken again. Right, exactly. And that far slash. So having, having the matched up far slash is definitely good in a lot of these situations. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little bit of a drop there, Johnny, a little bit of an oddly shaped character on occasion. Oh, catches on the 5k? Nicely done. Yeah, Rin. I mean, Rin's pressure just continues to impress me every time he gets to run it. Yep. There's a stun dipper. Oh no, the second hit doesn't go through. Oh yeah. Oh, I love the way he's been catching these jump out attempts with the card. Yep. Here we go. Now it's time for some Johnny pressure. The RC into the low. Nice call out by Rin, catching these, catching the mix. But unfortunately, the two cases. Oh my game. god. That was so many blocked mixes by Rin. RC into the back throw, get back down on the ground. We got some chip damage and some guard crush coming your way. Nicely done. Good pressure by Burrito. If a reverse yeah, kick's going to happen, then uh, this is where you start. That was a lot more confident from Burrito, honestly. Yeah, for sure. You get the sense he's, he's just a lot more comfortable running his game plan on Johnny. I'm making an original bet. <laughs> Can't believe people say Kai is bad, bro. I've been saying. Listen, Kai is a good character. Burrito's <laughs> government name is him. I, I get it. I get it. I guess. Here we go. Running some of that wild assault pressure. The far slash out of the pressure is very, very potent for Burrito. Burrito is the kind of person who knows when you use that far slash, too. <laughs> well, a little bit of a drop. Getting a DP out. White, try to go for the charge, uh, Wild Assault. You might get the whole thing. There's a burst coming in. Oh, no. Oh, and jumping over, over jumping over charge stun edge is a lot harder than it seems like it should be. Yep. There we go. We're back into it here. Rin now on potential match point. Would be a very, very good one for Rin to take here. Yeah, Burrito looking extremely strong when he can get pressure started, but so far he's just had to play a lot of neutral. The safe jump. Although. There we go. Oh, red stun RC. Dipper. A little dipper RC. Never hurt nobody. But a hundred so, meter is a, nothing to scoff at for breakfast with Rito. Oh, I'm sorry? Just gets caught on wake up. Yeah, that actually just looked like it rolled back on my screen. <laughs> ah. I don't know what yeah. option Burrito was trying to pull out there, but it was not the right one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Rin I, I, is taking it. 
I feel like maybe it might have been super considering a hundred meter, but I don't know. Yeah, maybe Burrito was trying to pull out the uh, the card super and it was just getting hit up. Breakfast Burrito going to be going down a stock. Looking a little bit more even now as Rin is going to have to take a little bit of a break. At Rin. So this next match is going to be Rin Chi versus JP. Is our next match locked in? Then... Mikan versus Eno. Oh, I I have heard Squid talk for very long periods of time about this matchup. Uh, he he does not like fighting Mikan, and I assume I assume that goes for JP too. So we'll see see how that goes for them. But yeah, I know this is. Yep. Probably Eno player's least favorite character to have to run into. Uh -uh. <laughs> but I mean, JP, two lives, so a lot of, yeah. Uh, yeah, JP, lot of time to adjust. With two lives and also just being the you know, the, the very, very scary matchup. And it's shown that they can uh, take out Rin, which is a uh, happy place to, uh, to be for them. I'm going to go ahead and let you take the very start of this one. Take the wheel while they get set up. I'm going to run to the bathroom real, real quick. All right. All right. Pariah's not here anymore, so I can give my honest thoughts on Vicom. This is great. Uh, go JP. Narwhal. Kill them all. There is a Vicom on both teams now, which makes me a little sad. I was really... I was enjoying a team that had no Vicom on it, but we don't live in perfect times. So, fortunately, we're going to have to watch some Vicom... And maybe some more Viking, but right now we're just waiting on JP. I'm um, not sure where he is. Might be getting some pregame coaching. Oh, look, looks like he just showed up. Yeah, I think we're good to just get into it. Yeah, okay, they're just jumping right into it. So, Viking versus Eno. From what I understand about this, the problem mainly lies with Perry. It's similar to Bridget, where Eno is a character who really wants to run safe jumps over and over. Hey! And Viking is a character who doesn't really care about safe jumps very much, so it gets a little tricky. Absolutely. Playing the intros rock too, which is great, because Viken has one of the coolest intros in the game. Rinchi versus the JP. Like OEG is actually taking control of the of the left hand side of the screen. <laughs> A wild throw moment. Oh man! Oh, here we go. The Eno versus the Ike. Yeah, definitely. I have heard a plethora of dooming about this match, but with how much Biken lost and Eno won in this match. It, it's a uh, an interesting situation to be in. Yeah, I imagine even if it's not like win, like even or good for Eno now, it's a lot more comfortable just with all the just with how much better her risk reward is, honestly, off of yeah. Wild Assault. So I think that was one of her main issues with a lot of characters, was she just gets out risk rewarded and there's not a whole lot she can do about it. But now she has this. Yeah. And yeah, yeah JP. JP is still kind of a monster. Yep, JP very, very scary in the bracket for sure. Oh, here we go. Just playing that mental stack. <laughs> Rinchy stuck on the defense here a little bit. And yeah, JP also early on just showing a willingness to play around parry, which is definitely going to be uncomfortable for Rinchy to deal with. Yep. Little 2k into the 5h going for a full combo here through the wall positive bonus jp has been farming meter yeah oh my god how's he have 100 meter either? already you might actually I don't think so it does no damage Viking, yeah viking's yeah, japanese <laughs> but the cross up oh very Excellent nice done. good cross up there jp looking solid in this set as well Yeah, that was... JP kind of ran away with that one. Yeah, absolutely. 
does run in run in that Eno game plan a little bit, you know. And I'm interested to see. I'm really interested to see uh, what uh, Rinchi's kind of adaptations are for this one. Definitely mm -hmm. could be a situation where Rinchi is just going to start kind of spamming out those parries. I, I feel like if I got put into the corner as a Biken player, I would do nothing but spam parry immediately. That's my, like, layer one answer. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, that's what I did when I played Biken, yeah. There we go. TK why not? You have it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. The, Rinchi's answer is to just get a little bit more belligerent here. <laughs> it's working. The JP's count. almost dead. The close slash on block. There we go. Big counter hit oh. on that one, unfortunately. That's really nice, too, to have uh, MLA as an auto timed uh, big enough gap to beat Perry. Yeah. This I think looks safe. You're safe. Unless you were throwing. I think no. you were throwing. Nicely yeah. done. And yeah, this is the problem. Is Biken doesn't just have Perry either. She has. The, a super, she has a four frame button. She has so many ways to mess you up. Wake up Yozansen, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff. All right, we don't, we don't talk about wake up Yozansen. <laughs> there are impressionable children here who might get the wrong ideas. <laughs> nice mash again, but finds a counter hit on the 6P. JP just mashing right back. The Megalomania does oh, connect I, here. I think that might have been a parry too, coming out. Very bad. He's gonna do a good chunk of damage. Holy cow! That would have yeah, killed last season. <laughs> so unfortunate. Page lands. Oh no! Unfortunately, the throw does go through here. AP ties it up one stock each. And this looks shred. miserable to play for either side. <laughs> this this might be the new. Uh, oh, TK was on some trades with a stroke. The big tree. Interesting. Oh no! Like I I might quit strive if I had to play this matchup. <laughs> Bessie Gessie's XD. <laughs> There's the gun Ooh, coming nice in. nice gun. I'm so used to Bikens comboing off of gun that I'm... <laughs> oh, no, it got hit. That works? I All think right. It crossed, I think it crossed up. That's crazy. Uh, that's a little clash for the trade. Nicely done by Rinchi. Yeah, that, that looked a lot better than the first game. Oh, God. Messy guesses is gonna XD is gonna live rent free in my head for a while. <laughs> That's like all I'm thinking about now as we watch this. <laughs> yeah, this is like the scramble matchup. Yeah. But I mean, if you just guess correctly, it doesn't it doesn't matter. So. All right, one one, getting back into it. Yeah, and great round start from JP. I think Biken tends to really want to do far slash as the layer one round start, so having options that just automatically beat that that you're willing to pull out it's really valuable. And yeah, kind of running away with it right now. Just got the conversion off the round start opener and just has not let up since. Very good. Yeah, good, perfect coming in from JP. I don't think we're seeing another far slash. Yeah. <laughs> That's out. Oh no, oh, yeah. the parries are trying to come out, but these timings, JP's just got the anti biking timings down right now. Yeah, and JP's been kind of targeting parry the entire match, so like, as an adaptation, it's a little rough because he's already looking for it. Yep. Oh. Ah, you, you should be dead now. Yep, unfortunately Assuming. not enough yeah. meter. Oh. Classy little BRC combo. Drops it, though. Oh, nice answer. That's low. Nicely done. Yeah, quick game from JP. Bringing it up two to one. I mean, both these players want to play so fast, but they want to play fast on their own turn. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I get what you're saying. Like, the, it's such a momentum thing for both these players. And we saw JP really run, run away with those two sets, but we saw Rinchy running away with just as many last round, you know? Yeah, these are these are definitely very much Guilty Gear characters who just want to, you know, they knock you down once and they just want to take the rest of the game off of that. Oh, yeah. And, you know, to JP's credit, there has not been... Like, parry has just not really been a realistic option. 
Yeah, JP's been doing a really good job playing around that parry. Oh, try to get the follow-up, but the die kick does connect there. Earning the burst, the JH does connect again. Nice, I love the TKO oh, nice. Zalus and Africa Kabar, and a huge combo as well. Yeah, that's insane damage. Oh, big counter hit on the jump in. Oh, unfortunate drop. But, I mean, you're in the corner. Yeah. Nice. Oh, another tick throw. The note tick throw is crazy. That's so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, like, what, <laughs> what are you going to jump and get hit by the note? <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing I really like about JP's offense is he's really tailored it to be like. Oh, try to get the are you, again. Are you capable of like representing enough advanced defensive options? Because otherwise, he's just going to cover everything. Yep. Uh, absolutely. This is a rough situation for Richie to be in. Hard knockdown. Here we go. This is where the reverse has to happen. The BR or the blue. Oops, a little BR coming out as well. Big counter hit. Red RC, parry finally coming oh, through. Great parry. Getting burst out immediately. Has to win this neutral situation. Rinchi does not want to be going down. The 6P is huge. Oh, we're getting jump scared. The JS connects. We got Oki. We got a hit. Is that enough? Not quite enough to land. We have to get one more. Burst is available. Gold burst comes out. No, the JS lands. Yeah, that's going to do it. So close. I liked, yeah, I liked what we were seeing from Rinchi towards the end there, but JP just had too much of a lead. Uh, Rinchi really turned it on at the end. Unfortunately, 07's in the chat. Well thought. The most yeah, good level stuff to Rinchi, for sure. we got. Gonna be going down here. JP is still in and has two hearts. It's up to Pixelated Max and Rin to make the sweep happen. Max is in. As we now once again approach another full reset, I believe it'll be our last reset of the uh, bracket. As Pixelated Max is going to be seeing what they can do here. Yeah, we have. I think at most we have four more games ahead of us. So mm -hmm. that's uh, well, four sets so twenty games, based on how this has been going so far. Right, man. How are you? Dual one. Turn off all of them. Here we go, Pixelated Max. Man, it just makes me so happy to see these mods, actually. Nice burst, baby. Oh, the OEG skins? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're sick. I, I keep seeing every single one, I'm just like, they're putting a huge asterisk on my face. Yeah, those are all... Elucid made them, right? Yep, yep, Elucid made oh, them. So cool. It's currently working on the rest of the cast as well. I'm waiting eagerly for the Johnny one. Yeah, really Very aggressive really start for Max. Nice DP. Damn, just DP through it. Now uh, hitting, hitting JP with some of these knowledge checks too. JP, I think, is a very, like, needs to have that knowledge. Is a very, um, I'm, I'm, my brain is just thinking in meme talk right now because of all of the memes that have been happening. But JP is a people mm. talker, you know, is a, I want to mm. know everything about the matchup. So having kind of a, something that could be a little bit more matchup knowledge checky, like Sin. I can't believe you just called someone a people talker on comms. That's crazy. <laughs> My brain is rotted from the inside out from home. <laughs> I can't believe that. But yeah, it, I, it seems like Max actually has a really good handle like on this matchup, like being able to DP, out, knowing that you can DP out of that note Oki setup. Like yeah. that's the kind of thing that matters a lot against Eno because, sure. you know, if you can get out of Eno pressure, that's like half the battle right there. Yep. Having having the best DP in the game is pretty good, it turns out, for getting out of uh, <laughs> mixed character pressure. I'm so glad we can say that now. We can just definitively say, you know what? Sin has the it best is, DP in the game. It is just objectively. I think they, you could make an argument that like maybe Kai's and Souls are up there because just because they recover so fucking fast. Yeah. Oh, look at this. And Max is the kind of player, too, who you really have to get in, in tune with their style and their mix because uh, you don't see many Sin players do it as fast and with as many, like, weird frame kills and whip buttons that Max does. 
It's like yeah. learning the Nago like close slash needy pre like reset pressure, like all new. And look at that close slash anti air. Ooh, great like, awareness. Super. Oh, didn't quite have enough. But finds it with the RC. Max playing fast right now. Yeah, he is just running away with us. Oh, nice back. Interesting dash. setup there. Yeah, one of Max's favorite uh, needy setups was a whiffing elk hunt in the corner, like after a throw or something. It would be a specific setup where you whiff elk hunt and then you get like a 6k uh, as a meaty. It's wild. That's crazy. Also, unfortunate drop from JP now. But, so yeah, that, that damage. I don't even know if you can punish Tyrant Barrel unless you like IB a... Yeah, I don't think so, honestly. Nice DP there. Finding the gap in the pressure. Big Slate Max with a fast 2-0 here. Wants to get things moving a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy because we were seeing JP just run over people earlier, and now it looks like Max is running over JP the same way. Yeah, absolutely. This does pro pro produce an interesting kind of meta argument for this situation, right? Because JP has two lives. We know that JP has beaten Rin before and seem to be pretty decisive against Rin, but with only Rin and Max alive, they're about to reset their roster, and if they can find someone to take out Max, which we've seen Burrito take out Max before, then it can be a kind of checkmate situation where you have the JP in the back who you know at least has the potential of beating Rin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely... I just love this one. <laughs> it's so yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm... <laughs> I'm losing brain cells trying to think about that and the match at the same time. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to go back to the match. <laughs> oh, Great no, start from JP, though. Yeah, oh, but dead. drops. Okay, we got another Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to say anything about positions. I'm just going to let whatever happens happen. Let me a little far slash wrapping things up. A hoof stomp round Oh, my start. God. Oh, great burst, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, hit up a double DP knowledge check there. I think that Eno in general does have a hard time punishing that, if I remember correctly. Yeah, especially if you air block it. I'm not sure, like, anyone can punish it if you air block it. True. Little stagger pressure. Going for the tick throw. Oh, here we go. This might... You don't have enough meter, so you're not quite dead yet. But, Max, taking the momentum back, just dashing under oh my and God. getting the 2k. What did that even hit? I think that clipped the jump startup, maybe. Yeah. There we go, though. There's the JP Classic getting that Wild Assault confirmed. Yeah, these these two, just like the last match, these are two very momentum-based players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that, that's kind of partially just the nature of Eno. You know, Eno you know, doesn't have too many defensive options, has some really good buttons in general, and has some jump-out opportunities, but... Well, this is a scary position for Max to be in, though. Try Wants to get out of the corner, but doesn't want to take too many risks. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, losing your burst like that is really going to cost you. Absolutely. That is JP taking a round, taking a game, rather. And if you're going to make the reverse sweep happen, then this is the way that you're going to do it. That is for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think just both of these players are so fun to watch. They both... Yeah really have their stuff down and are just capable of running away with games so easily. Very exciting set. Absolutely. Dual one. I am oh yeah, going for going for hoof stomp again, but it looks like JP's calling it out now. Nope. I wonder if that's just like a versus Eno thing, or if that's like a common thing Sin wants to do. Hoof stomp round starts pretty decent. Um, it kind of depends on what kind of options you're out but look at JP with his damage right now oh my god just a couple of the right call outs and when you're when you're as like combo focused as JP is kind of showing to be this is both this is two characters that'll blow you up depending on what kind of counter hits they're getting JP is just finding the right counter hits right now yeah it's JP's turn to run away with it for now nice and just like how do you deal with any of this yep it feels like it's not even like that many hits. It's just like Eno now, especially with Wild Assault, she gets a hit and then she has positive bonus and you've lost 30%. Yep. Oh no, lost the confirm. Oh, oh my nice god, why are you over there? Teleporting a little bit here. 
There's the megalomania, but finds a door. Yeah, yep, uh-huh. What an interaction. Fortunately, the megalomania does hit on the back end a little bit here. There we go. Max is going to be running some of the wild salt pressure. This is huge. You're, you you're might be dead. dead? Holy yeah. shit, you're dead. Why does Tyrant Rave do that kind of damage? And that just goes to show the combo off of the counter hit that Max would drop on the fall, on the Elk Hunt follow-up. That combo could have killed, and it, but dropping it there was so tragic. Remember yeah. to be pressing after hook stop, it, you know? But you gotta do something. Oh no. I like I like these really deep walks that JP is going for. Nice. He coming in. Hook stomp into the red RC. Air combo. Quite on the wall, Sin does hate. Oh, I wonder the wall. if that was super. Oh, fine. Oh, that's the it. Counter. Nicely done. I'm MF. -er. That is part of me, not JP going up. That is Pixelated Max going three to one. And pop on over to our scoreboard. Max with a very violent finish to the match there. And that is a reset for the Narwhal gaming side. This is going to go to last part, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to be here a while. But yeah, I think both Max and Rin have looked pretty solid, but they've also both just been getting stronger as this crew battle goes on. Like, I feel like Max oh, yeah. and Rin both were not playing this well, like, three hours ago. <laughs> right, They're right. still playing well. Like, I'm not trying to, like, shit talk them, but they have kind of both... To come online leveled up now and I, th I think it's the pressure honestly i think the the fact that they're the only two left and they have so much on the line i think it's actually something that they're using to just you know really focus their play and do what they need to do and here but we, we go. got burrito back up now yeah here comes yeah. the metagame a little bit if burrito can make this win happen against max this is huge because we know that jp really really strong man and yeah, and I mean, if Max wins, then now I think Brito is just out. Yep. And it's it's even quote unquote, but we have seen really scary stuff from Max and Rin yep. against both players who are left in on Narwhal's side. Yeah. So this 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 kind of just feels like the pivotal moment right here. This really is. This is this is a, one of the huge moments. Getting a couple of those knowledge checks in here, getting that vault deal for the wall break. Manu and Senga. Nice, the overhead, the mix coming in from Burrito. Oh my goodness, Burrito. Showing some really, really good stuff here. 100 meter and burst available, but Max is on the offensive now. Gets the tick thrown into the corner. Nice Oh my counter. god, that's still hit. It's deep enough right now. Oh, gotta be a little bit careful. Finds the Tyrant, even does so much damage, and a hard knockdown on the other side of the wall. What are we gonna do here? How does Max keep finding these comebacks? <laughs> the comeback kid. Max is showing him protagonist of the group, for real. Oh, nice. A little close slash action. Really good delay on it, too. Catching whatever option Max was trying to go there. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that not confirming is really tragic. And getting the backdash as well. Is Sin far slash level 3 or level 2, do you know? I don't know off the top of my head. Character's a nuke. If anyone can come back, and sin. So fair. YRC coming yeah. in. Oh, I'm trying to find the, the pressure, but Burrito is so on top of fighting against the sin. Knows the backdash points. Really is showing some knowledge of the matchup here. Breakfast Burrito taking the first one. But we're seeing signs of life from, uh, from Max here. Yeah, that first round was very, very impressive to play like that. And very close to going the other way. So I think... I think Max has definitely picked up on some stuff, and yeah. I think we're going to see a much closer set than we saw last time they fought. Even though I think last time it was still 2-3-2, two, two, right? Yeah, yeah, it was very, very close. Oh, okay, Far Slash is level 2. Yeah, that makes sense, because it still should confirm, but it has a much smaller window than if, if it's level 3, so it's very hard to actually hit confirm that. Let me see. 6k and Senga's coming out, the classic. Running some more of the pressure. Wild Assault into the overhead, straight into the super. Didn't get the wall break this time, though. Yeah, really unfortunate drop there. Oh, 6k jump scare. Nice 6k 
good patience from Burrito. Waiting for Sin to kind of max, kind of pull out an option, and then just finding the answer every single time. Ooh, excuse me. What did that even hit? <laughs> I think that their JS hit each other. Oh, nice counter hit on the close slash. I think you're dead here, right? Oh, you should be, yeah. Nicely done. 6 a max taking the stock. Yeah, Max just has confirms off everything. It's really oh, yeah. impressive. I play that patient game. I love them. <laughs> watching the seeing the patient game come out. Nice punish as well. Oh, Ooh. tried to bait the burst, but actually getting no burst to be had for the burst bait. Yeah, now you're in the bad spot. Yeah, does finally get it, but we spent a hundred percent of our food gauge on this mix. Managed to get the hit and the positive bonus. Oh, the oh, triple man. overhead is tragic. Oh, we got caught! It's so hard to block, too. I don't know why, but it just feels so difficult to block that overhead, even when I know it's coming. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Wild Assault YRC coming out. And Sega catches on the frame trap. Yeah. You can DP there, but it is, uh, it's a scary situation for sure. Yeah, I think you can maybe also 6P, but uh, 5 frame mash definitely loses there. Pad, pushing back into the corner. The overhead on the hoof stomp does catch. Burrito's really committed to the down back. I respect it. Yeah. Kind of has to. Just yeah. doesn't have very many defensive options. Yeah. And I feel like Johnny's mash is maybe not the most impressive out of any character. Oh, a tech throw. Oh, BRC finds the punish. Now we're in the corner pressure. Gotta wait for the fake options. Another huge tick throw from oh Max, but you can't contest Johnny after the throw clash. That's yeah, the... waiting to see if there's going to be a DP there. Oh, find something. Doesn't quite get a full confirm. Tried to go for a throw, but the backdash comes through. The card super is going to be enough, and Breakfast Burrito is going up 2-0. That is, I think, this... one of the most violent uh, knowledge checks that are in Johnny's kit, is with that 9-frame far slash, you have to be so careful how you're contesting after a throw clash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it just it covers round start distance. It's insane. Yeah. Very, I, very I don't think there's many characters who can do very much about that. Like, I play Ram, and she kind of has to just 6P if she wants to beat that. So, if she can't do it, I don't think many characters can. Yeah. Looks like Max is maybe taking a second to think. Maybe swap characters? I, there's Not a sure. potential for a character swap in here. But may just be uh, maybe calling the calling the squad for a little bit of Johnny information. Mm -hmm. a little little phone line. Yeah, very understandable. I still don't know all of his buttons apart from each other. For like sure. when I'm just looking at them, I, I've seen I see him do a sword swipe, and I'm like, that could be like three or four different things. <laughs> right. So once you start getting into like Oki setups and card shit, I'm. Yeah, I'm just listen, a drift. I'm playing the character, and I don't know half the shit that Burrito knows. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's he's probably put like 50 hours into having this character at least at this point. Oh yeah, for sure. But I mean, it's paying off. Oh, Although yeah. Max, Max looking really good in that second game, looked a lot better than the first game. Max definitely has the comeback potential. I think I think that with uh, oh, sorry, let me just get a message. With the uh, already an early burst coming out from Burrito. Burrito's getting more and more used to Max's pressure strings. Max is doing a lot of very similar, you know, strings of attacks, especially after the Wild Assault. I think yeah. reacting to people's strings after Wild Assault is going to be a huge part of this game. We've got the danger penalty coming out from Max. H2D coming in. Oh, yeah, that 6k whiff setup has gotten him so much mileage. Yeah, and it's really tragic actually there's something about johnny's backdash there that max isn't getting the normal confirms that he's he's getting the close slash on the backdash but it's not quite getting the like the 2s follow-up is just not landing which is really really oh cool. interesting yeah i don't know what that confirm is supposed to look like normally normally because you should be able to get a full combo of that because you're catching them with a close slash so Max not being able to get any uh, confirms. Oh, nice. I like the misfire forward into the 2k. 
Oh, the oh PRC good PRC. Yeah, just trying to scout out any potential options there. Interesting choice to use meter there. Yeah, I had to spend the meter there, unfortunately. You're like negative 20 or something. Yeah, they, they have both been teching each other's throws so much this match. I think Sin 60 is a real potent option. There it is. We see it right as I say. Oh, see, Max is he's trying to fall, play with the follow ups and is just not finding an option that actually catches on that, unfortunately. Yeah. Opposite side low. Calls out the fake misfinder there. The rough situation to be in. Oh, potentially match point for Burrito. Yeah, they're both kind of... You can tell they're both really deep in the layers against each other, trying to call out just all sorts of shit with their pressure. Oh, yeah. Plus. We're still plus. We got PRC. We catch on the JP. Finding it in the close slash on the back dash in the corner. But now Breakfast Burrito is in the driver's seat. Has meter to spend on the mix. Ooh, so afraid. It's a card. Nice back throw. Great throw. Oh. And you land the hoof stomp into the Tyrant Raid, and that is it. Pixelated Max taking the match. Oh my goodness. All right, we got a game here. Y'all are stressing me out. <laughs> I love the... Uh, we saw this a lot when Max was fighting Cotter, but it also, it looks like he's kind of using Hoof Stomp to target Throw as a defensive option. And with the play we've seen, with how much they're teching against each other, um, I think both of them are just really settling into being comfortable with Throw as a layer one defensive option. And Max yeah. is like, well, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, just got back from dinner, who's winning? Currently, we are kind of deciding, honestly. As far as the metagame of the bracket goes, look at that TK, oh my goodness. Yeah. As far as the metagame of the bracket goes, this is kind of one of the deciding factors. We have Me uh, Max and Rin left over. They have Burrito, JP, and Mari. Oh uh, my there's goodness. The overhead. Burrito just turns it on this round. Out of nowhere, just sped up the play, 3x. Oh, that still worked. Oh. Gonna cash and get the guard crush in the air. Go. Keeping the pressure going, the PRC catches the dash out attempt again. Yeah, this is find some scary here. spot. Tenga, okay. perfect. Oh no! Down. Keeping it locked oh, in in her corner. Calls out the fake out misfinder again, but the burst right back into the corner. We're building that risk gauge so high. The fake out misfinder's here again. We're doing mix. We oh. get a back throw. And we're just gonna go through the wall. Doesn't get rid of that risk gauge though. One interaction could be devastating here for Breakfast Burrito. Yeah. Max fine. Oh my oh. god, that's a huge starter. Oh, oh no! Just walks hit. right into it. I think that might have been a throw attempt. Yeah, trying to go for the throw. You have meter available. There's something. YRC off of the 6K. The counter hit lands, and Max is still in this. Oh, oh my, God. my goodness. <laughs> Max Max just refuses to die when he's on low health. <laughs> yeah, so true. Nice. Oh, there swag. he goes. Actually getting the confirm. Yo, we're doing the pressure. We get the tick throw. Nicely done. Another nice. throw. What a mix-up. After doing the close slash into close slash every single time. I like the idea of the super there. Oh Can my god. find a kill here? No way, right? You might? Oh no. no. Barely missed the meter. Yeah, if you could have gotten the meter. Nice. Oh two my god. S and Max is bringing us to a game five. Are you kidding me? If you had told me this would be a game five three games ago, I would have thought you were crazy. <laughs> right? Holy shit. Max is cooking right now. I, I'm i on Team Narwhal, but I gotta say, I think Max has been the most impressive player tonight in terms of just the amount of times he's been put in such a shitty situation and just clawed his way out of it is insane. The mental. I mean, here's the thing about Max. The, the mental is rock solid when they're losing. When they're winning, that's a different story. Because they're like, mm. oh no, I just like, you know, I, I just beat them with some like bullshit options. They just didn't know. They just got knowledge checked or something. If Max can hold on to the mental here and keep the momentum going, 
Sorry, can we just talk about the fact that Max did a block string that took Burrito all the way from one corner to the other? <laughs> oh, what a DP. Nice. Johnny players do love hitting those meaties. IRC. Oh, we're, we're watching Max learn the Johnny matchup live. Like, that's the other great thing about this. Max is only oh, yeah. getting better at this matchup. Yeah, he's already just started to figure out so many things that he didn't know. That breakfast Brew does always backdash there. Unfortunately, the throw is going to be getting caught out. The DP on the... Oh. Nice! After the 6k and Senka. Fire C comes out from Burrito. Into the close slash. 6k and Senka again. Yeah, and now Max is just going back to being patient. The threatening card there. Just a slow walk forward. Oh, the far slash connects into the wild assault. I think you're dead. You're not dead. Uh, not quite. Max refuses oh. to die. Oh, gotta be careful. Oh my god. This gotta is be terrifying. a little careful. There's a double miss fighter. Holy yeah. god. No tension either, so can't even FD it. Yep. Go. This is potentially match point for Burrito. That was going to be a huge combo starter. A little <laughs> meta is going to have to get a little bit more hydration. Finds the close slash again, but not on the back dash this time. Oh, oh. R slash connects into the red RC. Max just slowing things down. BRC, no, it doesn't quite affect the frame data enough. Still gets thrown out, and oh. there's the DP getting punished. Max has one yeah. more opportunity, but with Sin's damage, we've seen it happen. The TK, though, is on, Dorito is on top of it with those TK finers. That yeah. is pixelated Max going down. 07's a valiant, valiant effort there. God, that was an amazing showing for Max. I, I can't believe how well he's been playing all night, especially that set. Absolutely. And we are here. We are in the final countdown. It is only Rin remaining. Max is so good. Yeah, now I think Rin has beaten Burrito. I don't remember who Rin lost to. Burrito. Rin lost to JP. Gotcha. Who is okay. still on the uh, enemy roster. I know Rin does struggle with the Eno matchup in general. But Rin is now here. The, my, my big bro, the Rin and Max are so funny. They actually just like basically role play their character. They're big bro, little bro, oh, really? and it's so funny. Oh, that's cute. We got Rin versus Burrito. Yeah. Burrito also, you know, that's true of a lot of people, but uh, he warms up really well and just gets stronger the longer he plays. He plays so many long sets that he's just used to it now. So yep. going into this already warmed up with a five game nail biter, I think is only gonna make him yeah. even stronger. Especially how much, we see Burrito being really online right now. And we saw how online Burrito was in that last game against Max, like really speeding everything up. And like, it just seems like they're getting more and more comfortable with the Johnny text that they're pulling out as they're going. Yeah, and not even considering the bike and pick this time, which I think is smart. You tried it, it didn't work out. Now you might as well just, you know, learn it with Johnny. Oh my god, that's still... Yep. Dude, Deflect Shield sucks. Deflect Shield sucks! Look at this, Burrito is playing out of his gourd right now. And oh Rin god. is going to have to pull some stuff out here. The first game is all details. And you now yeah, have a little bit more to download a little bit, hopefully. Rin will be able to pull us back. But for right now, Breakfast Burrito may be looking to send us all home tonight. Burrito is indeed exceeding his fucking limits right now. This is the payoff. He's been labbing and practicing for a month. He this is really what it's has. all come down to. He doesn't go to majors. This is this is what he trains for. <laughs> Very true. We can't make once every six, majors. <laughs> once every six months, he shows up for a crew battle and puts on a show. Exactly. And and every anytime there's a side bracket. Well, yeah, of course. Burrito, you aren't gonna do this to me. Burrito is not practiced this month. That, that's why we're seeing a lot of the war happening. The far slash, the six. That is not fucking true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That I, he's literally been pinging for games. <laughs> Yeah, you can't you can't be out here spreading misinformation. Here we go. Rin though has been getting a little bit more of those hits in. Oh no! All 
Kyrie. You got this. It's just Cooler Testament. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> it's a hell of a way to describe a character. <laughs> this matchup. Yeah, yeah. And Zynga coming out. Burrito has been making a hell of a comeback here. There's a counter hit. Glow Slash. Catching the dash out. Finding the right option here. Breakfast Burrito is looking strong. Yeah, he's just, he is completely in the game now. Ooh, the back dash. Nice, he's calling out the 6P. At least blocking it here. The TK again. Those TKs just be landing. Ooh, finding the 2P mash. Here we go. Yeah, and you can tell Johnny is kind of a character who really plays to his strengths, because I feel like Burrito's always been someone who's just really, really good at RPS. Oh, yeah. And... Johnny has a lot of ways to play that. Oh, that there just we make go. Make things so uncomfortable. Rin finding the close slash back dash confirm that Max was trying to find for so long. Oh, what a back dash there! This could you be death. I think with a hundred meter. Oh no, you dropped. Oh, this is scary. There's the card. Oh, you got hit. You got hit on a stun dipper. Oh, oh that's crazy. Seven frame startup, baby. Seven frame startup for both moves, though. Breakfast Burrito going up 2-0. Could be sending us home packing right now. Rin has a hell of a feat in front of them. This fist must push the rock up and get up the hill again. And then two more times. And then two and then, more times. And then six more times. Burrito is indeed a mercenary for hire for Narwhal. Alrighty, getting into a game three. 6P round start, a good option. Getting the reset. Now we're running that Kai pressure. Full work for Genji rolls. Here we go. Oh, oh nice. great throw. Yeah, Burrito really good calling out that kick throw situation. Sun Dipper comes out. Oh, try to go for a burst bait. I respect it. Mm -hmm. That's a huge counter hit. Yeah, you were dead if you didn't burst bait that one. Yeah, Rin was getting the meter. I like Rin with the idea of throwing out these uh, throwing out these fireballs a little bit, trying to figure out, just she needs to figure out something to do in the full screen situation. Huge mash there. There you go. Now, nice. Babe, neither of them has stopped moving for like a second either. They are just running at each other the full neutral. throttle. The neutral is going crazy. The DP comes out. Jumping over oh in the Stun Dipper anti-air? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and the tap does to finish it off. I love it. This is insane. Got the JS. But that JS. Yeah, Johnny's does win this time around. That is a full confirm as well. Just nice and safe. Landing those meaties. Hard super through the wall. Huge opportunity here. Oh, but doesn't catch the back dash. Yeah. Oh no, the close slash misses on the back dash. That's absolutely tragic. Hold the burst. We're gonna be going to the next round. This is final round potentially for breakfast burrito, but Rin has to make it happen right now. A far slash connects, bursting out immediately. Ooh, six peeing the misfiner. A very scary position. Okay, two Great deep. start for Rin though, and huge combo. There we go. Catches again. Finds an and optimal. Oh, doesn't quite do super, but now you got 50 meter, so. Yep. It's still pretty good. 50 meter definitely can go a long way here. The stun yeah, dipper. Speaking of, just, yeah, just <laughs> wants the burst. <laughs> wants the burst so bad. Oh no. Don't throw for the burst bait. We're using it for wild assault anyway. Oh, oh no, it caught the back dash. dash. Yeah, I think that was, uh, that was a super OS. You You're dead! Alive. That's gonna be it. Oh my goodness. Damn. Wow, incredible. I cannot believe that super killed. Very, very good game coming out from everybody. Yeah, that was... That was an insane crew out. That was very good. What's his name? That's Breakfast Burrito. Let's pop on over to the scoreboard. Play us a little outro. Sinking with the ship. 
brought it back. Only three hearts were remaining, but the breakfast burrito mountain was a little bit too hard to climb. Very, I mean, very that's nice what we were saying. Time. He's just been waiting in the wings this whole time. Hey, ladies. <laughs> the play Skullgirls guy is so true. Yeah, what's he doing playing Strive? Great match. Yeah, absolutely amazing match, everyone there. Let me go ahead and pull in. <laughs> go ahead and pull in some homies here real quick. Hello, Rin. How is it going? Hello. I'm going to go it ahead going. and get uh, Burst Dragon in here as well. Hello, Burst Dragon. Hello. Wonderful matches. Those were... I I have a... I am not a person with a blood pressure problem, but I think after tonight I am. Those were all too close. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. <laughs> so, I I feel a little bit awkward about, about being here in this interview. For what? Because, like... I'm gonna be fucking real with you, dude. The, my team fucking carried me today, and <laughs> they're all so fucking sick, dude. Did yeah, you see yeah. this shit? Yeah, was, uh, yeah. So. You guys absolutely cooked. You guys did a great did, did a great job. I had really had a lot of fun. Yeah, GG to cool. everybody. You didn't have to like literally fucking tear my carcass apart like that, but I respect <laughs> you for doing it, Ren. No, you know what? You know what? I I felt like I had to defend Brokies there. I felt, I felt you were a little disrespectful during that, and so I'm like, I. No more I, shenanigans. I saw the I saw the I'm going in before the match had ended. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. Not like this. <laughs> big big bro big bro Rin was here to save the day for sure. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, shout out GG's. It was absolutely GGs. a blast. A shout outs so to Shout out to everybody for, for fucking putting in the goddamn work. Narwhal chat has been a complete other shit post for the last like four I'm fucking sure. hours it has been absolutely wonderful uh, <laughs> those were all 10 out of 10 matches very much loved it i was a i mean i gotta be, give a specific shout out to cotter and uh, mari they both completely popped off and are doing so well like they oh, have grown so much as players and uh, that is just so good I'm exhausted no, from yelling so much <laughs> so true yeah, and I mean, listen, everybody held it down really well. I'm, you know, we may have lost, but I'm very proud of all my OEGs. Y'all, y'all did a really You good. should be. They, they denied me from getting, like, they just fucking killed me today, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, shout out to JP for uh, kind of last minute showing up as a sub for Haikage and, like, putting in fucking work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, he he was definitely hesitant about about showing up, but, but I want him to know that he did fucking great. Yeah, so. for sure. JP did great. Maybe JP cooked. Cotter, you also cooked. She everybody tell Cotter she should cook. She doesn't believe. Cotter us. cooked. I'm not Cotter sure. definitely cooked. She Our was, set was <laughs> fucking close. Like I was scared. Yeah. I was very scared. Ikage, I know Ikage. Shout out to Ikage. He he genuinely cannot make it, uh, <laughs> but he absolutely would have loved to be here. Oh, absolutely! I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad we got the the chance to face y'all. I I can't wait till the next time. <laughs> absolutely. Hey, there was nothing on the line for this, was there? I don't no, think no, so. No, no. I I was. All I've right. been waiting. I've literally this? been waiting for Burrito to like message me and set up a side bet, but nobody messaged me to, to set up any stakes for this. So it wasn't my bet. I just forgot. <laughs> side bets, anyone? Yeah, yeah, Burrito. Okay, yeah. What, what are you? What are you putting up? What are you putting up? <laughs> We're just here. We're just here to have a good time. <laughs> Casual friendlies. Five hundred dollars for Pride Auction. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I didn't need a run back versus burrito for sure. Money match. Oh god, Pick some Max Max with the salty money match. I'm here for it. But hey, yeah. great shit, everybody. Right, me, I gotta figure let me out. Just some quickly food. check. Sorry, one thing. What's up? I just I believe someone asked to send a message to the stream earlier okay okay let me double check uh give, give me like three seconds i'll be right back okay 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 right. i'm kind of scared i'm a little scared too i don't know what, <laughs> what burst is cooking that's not even my <laughs> stream and i'm worried for you oh boy vote, don't vote skyrim please <laughs> vote in that <laughs> what's happening hey I voted for voting? blaze blue i am team narwhal through and through <laughs> oh just central fiction yeah. Uh, Blaze blue. The very same. 
God, why are people actually voting for S Skyrim? What, is, is, there oh, a, no. is there a poll in the chat? Am I missing something? <laughs> yeah, there's a straw poll. Oh my goodness. Please I... do us all a favor and vote Blaze Blue. Honor her burrito. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Yeah, we got it <laughs> in this bracket. Play Skugs from Burrito was the message that I was told to pass on. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> for sure. Play Skull Yeah, Girl, play it, Skull it, was, it was that. Also, Mari says hi to Jack specifically. <laughs> hi, Mari. <laughs> Damn, I got no hi from Mari. That's Mari, crazy. Mari, you <laughs> killed it tonight, by the way. You're playing uh, so good. I'll, I'll go ahead and throw a vote for Skullgirls in the straw poll. Oh, no, no, you somebody, somebody on my Wi-Fi has already voted, so. The worst <laughs> in mine. Hi, Mari. Hi, hi. All right. I kind of want to see Skyrim, just so Guts has to pay the price for putting it as an option in the poll, and we can watch all of Ban <laughs> try to speedrun Skyrim. Yes, yeah, it, was, will, it was all I my fault. It. it was? Yeah, I told Breeder that if he didn't do it, he's a bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was the real side bet, huh? There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. Well, hey, all right, I gotta everybody. wrap up. You guys got any other shoutouts before Absolutely. the end of the night? Shout out to you for hosting this. Hey, shout out to you for helping put it together. This was a very fun man. Yeah, absolutely. And also to Jack for fucking showing up and like actually fucking killing us with commentary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll need to watch it. Yeah, I, I, I haven't been able to I I wasn't I couldn't hear I couldn't listen to it because I was I was gaming, but Yeah, yeah. I, you should I listen. It was really good commentary for both of them. I, I approved. <laughs> I, I I was probably the most emotionally invested that I had been on commentary ever. Which is, <laughs> which yeah, this is was fair. kind of insane. We just, I've only just... commented beginner brackets before, so it's nice to actually be able to talk shit about people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand that. I understand that. Right. You should just put us into more crew battles. I'll listen, oh, yeah. we'll we'll have to figure some more some more options out for sure. The team's been growing too. And I just I love this format so much. This format yeah. is so good. <laughs> It's so good. I it is a good format. It's fun. It's mm -hmm. very fun. As far as Odinzai Gaming stuff goes, big shout out to all our players. Check out the um, Odinzai Gaming. We'll, we'll eventually maybe be releasing the Odinzai Gaming mods, uh, but also big love to all of our players rocking those mods today because they they look so good. I, that, that brought a smile to my face the entire time. So shout out to Lucid for making that. We have the FNF uh, bracket, uh, championship bracket. It's going to be coming up at the end of October. I'm going to be at CEO Taku with some of the team, with a lot of the team, actually. Um, a good chunk. We're going to be, uh, Rin and Max are both going to be there. Me, Tibbers, and Westfield are going to be there. So if you want to come hang out with some of the Onzai Gaming crew, then absolutely feel free to come hang out with us. Check out the Discord as well. Yeah. All the things. Check out the Narwhal Discord. Are y'all are y'all back in the tournament scene yet? Or are you still you know, kind of on we're, pseudo high? We're, uh... Kind of in a little bit of a rough spot right now. Both of us are going through like very transitional phases of life. Yeah. So it's really difficult to schedule shit, but we'll we'll figure it out eventually. Totally. Fair. Wait, I need we're... I need some narwhal jank in my life. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> we... First, does that? I'm oh, sorry. You're good. What? You're good. I just want to ask: Does that make me the reigning champion of narwhal right now, though? You know, I think wow. it does. Actually. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's great actually what was it did you win the, yeah, the chess so, bracket yeah it was the chess street fighter bracket <laughs> oh, y'all are wild and all right we're gonna be wrapping up have a great all night right. everybody i'm gonna find somebody to raid and go say hi to my team before they all disappear off into the ether what's being is oeg getting a ladder please <laughs> hey listen if the if the if the if the people ask for it, we may be able to cook something up. We'll think about it. All right, <laughs> y'all have a great night. Right. Good night.